Alright, lads. Lads and lasses. Hello, guys. Oh, my morning. My fellow ghouls and giblins. We're back. We're in a new place. We rock and we roll in. We still having HDMI TV tech issues. Woo! But what a nice house we are in. Ginger Sasquatching about. I missed the Sasquatch. Yeah. What was the Sasquatch, Ginge? It, was a, it wasn't the Sasquatch, was it? It was the. Um, it was the Sasquatch. The gibbon. Oh, the gibbon. The gibbon. And the I think it interchanged. I spent. I spent. Was it six weeks or a month? Yeah. In a Thai hut in the countryside. We uh, rolled up on a boat to a little spot called Krabby. Oh, Krabby. As soon as we got off a boat, man offered uh, to sell us weed. Yeah. And we were Free weed. Yeah, it was this massive, dry, crusty, tumbleweed brick. He smoked it the whole time. And I'm telling you, it's a certain vibe when you wake up in a wooden shack in the middle of the Thai, Thai countryside and you just see him just... <laughs> <laughs> His posture is when she I have got no lights on. Hello guys, welcome back, Full Fantasy Peasants, people watching this back on playthrough. You may see the title Huge T for Arc, and you're like, oh, I'm gonna watch this episode. Because I think I know what he's talking about. That was actually the last episode. I just did not know what to call this one, because frankly, I have no idea where we are going. Probably gonna be mosing over to Costa uh, Cosmo Canyon next. Hmm. But yeah, it was the last episode. Where spoilers, spoilers, it's the Tifa moment, Tifa live stream moment. If you have not seen that, that's where we're up to. All right, let's get to it. So Tifa flopping into the live stream. The the two now somebody said Pez. I think you read the scene wrong because I've been going on about how cool it would be if we saw Maiden who travels to the planet. I need to. Um, to clarify, I actually got him mistaken. I always thought Najima was the one who wrote Maiden Who Travels to the Planet, a story where you basically see from Aerith's POV when she first dies, and she's in the live stream, and she's seeing what Sephiroth's doing, she meets various characters. Uh, it wasn't actually written by Najima, it was approved by Najima, so nothing in there wasn't signed off by him and Namura. But it was actually the live stream chapter white. It was... Uh, it was all those white chapters that Najima wrote on the way, right? On the way to a smile. Hmm. But regardless, even uh, those chapters were very similar to Maiden Travel to Planet. I said, how cool it would be if we saw that, if we saw that come to life in the rebirth. And I really thought it was going to be part three. Question is, are we going to even be doing the memory dive anymore? Is that still going to be happening in part three where, where Tifa goes in and helps? Saves Cloud Mind, uh, Cloud's Mind. Is that going to change? I think it would be pretty lit. What if they do it like this? What if the next time Tifa and Cloud go into the live stream, it's intentional? Ooh, what if Flippy, old Flippy? Eh, my real name is Flippy, not Sapphire Weapon. What if he shows up and we can just like go back and forth. It's like, uh, you know, like in World of Warcraft, if you continent hop or something, or, uh, you know, you basically TP over. Man, I just had a crypto alarm go off my ear hole. That hurt so bad. <laughs> I'm so excited. I have to take the headphones off. Need a quick break from alerts. Have you guys had a phenomenal weekend? Just realized it is the weekend. Hello, Novus, Scott. Matthew, stay fresh, Steph. Sup, 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 or Steph. Dan, Dan, how did Tifa survive in the live stream? So in o late today, sorry. Your yeah. cot's your cot's late. Yeah, I know it's my bad. I thought you said I was realised it's the weekend. Well, it is for most oh, of the Americans, yeah. or it's just been the weekend. Um, yeah, so Tifa survived in the live stream in OG by Cloud creating a psychic bubble of protection around her. Very high fantasy, very juicy. Uh, in this one, quite clearly, it was obviously the weapon protecting her. And, you know, it was in, she was inside the, uh, the material orb, 
What I'm wondering is, was Tifa even physically in the live stream? Like when she was moving around, obviously it seemed that way, but no, Bree just said, oh, how could she breathe down there? What if Tifa was like never actually physically there? What if the weapon actually just got her in the orb? And it's only her spirit body that was moving around during that whole scene. Highly possible. That's usually what happens. The spirit body usually separates from the physical body. And that was just flapping about. I mean, regardless, the whole thing of her not breathing, I think it's explained very simply that people can go into like pretty much coma spaces. The body can pretty much be on the verge of death. And then once the spirit comes back into it, there's all that high fantasy nonsense going on. But anyway, I think it'd be really cool if the next time they go in, it is intentional. But it is massive. The planet's weapon saving Tifa, holding it for emphasizing just how huge she is in the role of saving the world. Ah, oh, it was juicy, delicious. But somebody said, I don't know if you guys agree with this, they said that I had the wrong take. Because though I called this ages in advance, oh, I think we're going to go into the live stream, it'd be cool to see the war between the corrupted side and the souls that are trying to stay on the, the, the side of purity and to actually you know, visually see that. And I always said that would be so lit if we see uh, that when Tifa and Cloud memory dive. I um, also said I think we are seeing it on Zack's purgatory world of chaos side. Um, constantly been calling to that. But I was not expecting what we saw. Hell to the no, I was not. But I had the big questions of, yeah, how can a soul be in more than one place at once? Are they just split? And then we saw two weapons, two of the same weapon, right? Two flippies. That's what I read it as. And somebody said, no, I've read it wrong. They're two separate different weapons. One was sapphire and one was emerald. Did of you read it that way? I, di I didn't see it that way. They looked exactly the fucking same to me. <laughs> um, possibly a dream. I have done far too much dream space theory. <laughs> Nothing in this is happening is a dream as of yet, unless, of course, the world we are in is all just one uh, big spiritual yeah. falsehood. The old, the old, the old sucky pen. Uh, any theories on the time rift? Well, the the one on Zack's end, well, like I said, from day one, I think that we've been in five Kabbalistic worlds and Zack is just one gradient of them. I think it's been clear as day. And I think Brie, who's actually finished the game now, she's actually starting to shift that. She's like, I know you said that Zack was in the live stream and you had a whole logic around that. I didn't really vibe it when you first said it, but she's now starting to suspect that is the case. So my theory on the rift it's very simply, I think we saw this clear as day. It's so clear to me. The whole of the live stream is a pool with various depths. And the deeper you go, the less and less corporeal it gets. Souls that are closest to the surface, and, and this was explained also in live stream chapters why Majoring Travels the Planet, pretty much almost everything we just freaking got shown with the Tifa scene, is that as Aerith goes deeper and deeper, Souls at the surface are more hovering on the edge of like physical form. And the deeper you go, the more and more amorphous and pooly it gets, um, the, the more dissolved it is. And obviously, if Sephiroth is trying to suck the life stream up to the very, very top physical layer, Anything he does, anything him and Genova does that does that pulling effect is going to make things more corporeal when it should actually be going the other way. You know, everything is supposed to be going towards the, the goal of dissolving rather than lingering in purgatory. Now, obviously, we saw that in Rebirth, right? Uh, remake, sorry. We saw that in Remake Part 1. The ghost in the train graveyard, the Elagor that was keeping the children trapped and actually seeing forms of them flitting about, not just in the, like, baggy ghosts, but even in that, like, far plainy ghost form that they were in. Trapped closer to the surface. And now, obviously, Sephiroth just ripped up all the whispers in, in the remake. It's highly possible, I think, that Zack, who was guarding the live stream, is now knocked up to World of Bariah, which is, uh, 
Basically a higher gradient of the live stream. Oh my god, I've been riffing and juicing all these ideas in my head for days. But uh, a dream in a memory world, then perhaps live stream is the memory of the planet. Well, this is what is key, right? Is that the live stream is memory. That is fundamentally what it is. And I don't know why I can't sell Brie on the idea of human instrumentality, the idea that Cloud will ultimately be the one to decide what happens to the world. The live stream mechanics are flawed. They've always been flawed. You know, Minerva, who was the old persona of the live stream, is obviously a hardline bitch. <laughs> she is not pleasant. She uses souls willy nilly. Now look at Genesis. She yeeted him back into the live stream. It is a brutal form of, div of divine righteousness, the dark side of light, if you will. The live stream has even been using tormented souls to protect itself. Whispers. You know, souls trapped in pain and suffering. And like I've always said, I believe the crux of the game, because me and Brie, right, so I'm, I'm, I'm hopping ahead here, guys. I've not obviously got to the scene where Aerith is singing, right? But I've seen it in the trailer. Now, I don't know what you guys think she's singing about, but Brie said to me that apparently the whole... Uh, the whole of the internet is an uproar and argument about what is over. Some are saying it's about Cloud, some people saying about Cloud and the whole gang. Some are saying it's Aerith singing it to Zack. <laughs> um, but Brie really liked what one of her friends said. Is that she sing she's singing it about her mum, Ifauna. Basically, Aerith is going to sing a song. And it's talking about making a promise that one day we'll be together forever. Right, okay. Uh, you know, that we'll meet again. Um, Will we'll never be apart and stuff like that. Now, my my idea on, on what that song is about, and I haven't even got to it, is far higher, far higher than, oh, if it's Zach, if it's a fan, if it's Cloud. It's the very concept of being with loved ones, the very hope for that, the very want of there being something after death something where you reunite with people, that very basic intrinsic urge that sits at the heart of most people. That's what the promised land is, is it not? The promised land that Shinra are searching for, that Pali Aerith knows the way to, that only the Setra get to have. We find that in Crisis Core, cool, that's just the live stream. And what is the live stream? A place where all memory and all souls essentially reunite, except they don't reunite. They never have. Only Aerith, lucky Aerith, got to be with Zack in the live stream. No one else got that privilege. No one else got that right. But Aerith, through experiencing an afterlife with Zack, she got that honor. And you know, that was her honor as a Cetra. She got to have her promised land. What does Aerith want to do? She wants to share that with the rest of humanity. That's why she's trying to help them reconnect with their Setra roots. She wants to lead everyone to the Promised Land. That's the irony of it. Shinra saying, oh, Aerith, this Setra is going to lead us to the Promised Land, and they're trying to force her to do it. And they've always been trying to do it by force. The irony is she's always trying to help humanity get to their Promised Land. And the way she's doing that is by changing how the live stream works. That's what we saw in Advent Children, right? That's why she was the one who uh, greeted Kadash. Come on, let go. This is why people start calling her mother in Advent Children. This is why, you know, even Cloud did. And she's like, why is everyone calling me mother? Because Aerith is the, the gateway to giving humanity an afterlife. And that's what she's singing about, because songs are very intuitive. Yes, in that moment, human Aerith could be thinking of a fauna, she could be thinking of Zach, she could be thinking about fucking Cloud. Any of those things. But what's beneath that song, I believe, is the just the intrinsic urge to be with loved ones. That, that's why, because she has that urge, when she becomes live stream goddess, she gives people that opportunity. I think, I think, ah, that, that's my impression, my interpretation. Um, but yeah, I, I think, the, I, I'm hoping the game will go completely different. And not even allow Aerith to, to be the one to pick what happens to the live stream at the end of this game. I want it to be Cloud because Cloud is locked between two fundamentally different ideas. Because the, the irony also is 
Sephiroth and Aerith are no different. There's a reason why Aerith can do all the same things Sephiroth can do. She could create remnants. Um, she has some of the same thought processes as him. Nijima closed the gap on showing us, oh, Aerith and Sephiroth, the two sides of the same coin. It's just the execution that's different. Aerith wants to have the same thing that Sephiroth wants. The only difference is Sephiroth is willing to violate people's free will to get it, whereas Aerith will never violate people's free will. It even says in uh, while she's watching Cloud and the gang go through their journey after she's dead, she has numerous times where she could intervene, where she could show up, where she could put Cloud out of his suffering. But she never does because she says if she goes and does that, there's a chance that it could actually... Um, what was the word they used? Basically exert some sort of influence on Cloud. It could actually basically more or less like swing his decisions with things. And she doesn't want to do that. She doesn't want to uh, violate his own like choices and his own independent autonomy, more or less. But yeah, Sephiroth wants no different. He wants an afterlife as well. He's always wanted that. And the live stream, because it's a brutal little biatch, didn't give it to him. Do you know, do you know that Cloud yeeted Sephiroth into the live stream? No. Oh. I don't think, even think you're really going to see it. But Okay. What's that happening? No, the, no, yeah, that happened in Crisis Call, when we played Crisis Call. You know, Zach goes, and then Cloud gets... That's this. the end of it. Was you not there for the end of it? Oh, it's like... So I remember in Crisis Call was... Um, I think Zach, when they found Genova's, it was just after um, they found the first Genova re Mako reactor in. Oh, right, yeah. Which was at the start of this game, wasn't it? Where they kind of re replayed that bit, and Zach, um, Cloud was like in Zach's place. Yeah. That's what I remember from. Oh, okay. Well, I won't say too much yet, but basically, Cloud ends up managing to beat Sephiroth somehow, and Sephiroth falls into the live stream, and he's getting dissolved. He's getting dissolved up by the live stream, and he doesn't want to. He wants to stay. He wants to continue, um, and he has to cut off. Like right? basically, he's down there, and it describes in a lot of detail, especially in the Ultimania, that the only way he could remain was to keep his strongest, but also his most nefarious traits. And um, that's the only way he could survive the live stream. Right. Yeah. So that's why the Sephiroth that we see of today is not the Sephiroth that you, know, you saw in Crisis Core. Because he weren't that fucking bad, was he? No. He, he had... No, he's a fucking murderer and a war criminal, absolutely. Mm. But he had some semblance of humanity. Yeah. The live stream forced him to cast that shit off. Because the live stream, yeah, pretty nefarious. That It's pretty messed up to say, oh yeah, I'm going to give you an afterlife, you know, heaven, if you're useful to me. Oh, that's fucked up. Mm. If you're useful to me, I'll allow you to stay around. That's why it allowed Zach and Aerith and only a few other select people to remain. The, those Cetris spirits that should have passed on centuries ago, uh, they, they were some of the ones that got to stay around. No, I don't have any use for you. So fucked off. she fucked off Genesis. All right. Don't have a use for you right now. <laughs> Same to Sephiroth. Don't have a use for you. I'm just going to gobble you up. And that's why Sephiroth said to Aerith at the remake of uh, Highway, um, all those are bound to her. Was it? All, that, all those who are bound to her uh, will return to her. Uh, they see only shadows and all that stuff. Yeah, basically that everyone's fate is to be bound to a live stream. Um, they can essentially do whatever it wants with you. You're fairies. But that's the thing. You give cloud. You, you give you give Cloud the choice between the two poles of Aerith and Seth. And let's just quickly, very quickly before we start the stream, talk about fucking Cloud becoming Sephirothy. Oh, he became so Sephirothy. You saw that, right? Yeah. He fucking bullet dodges, impaling a soldier, a trooper, the same way that Sephiroth impaled uh, Cloud and Advent Children. You've seen Advent Children, right? Ages ago. Oh! Oh! That was that was so freaking juicy. And if that's happening already, so me and Bree were riffing. God damn, if that's happening now, by part three, what if Sephiroth 
entirely occupies. That, that starts happening longer. We only saw it happen for one fight and Tifa broke him out of it. What if that starts happening for longer and longer stints? Cloud fully embodying Sephiroth's persona, essentially being completely hijacked. That'd be so messed up. But, but, big juicy Latino but, what if that is a double-edged sword? Because that's usually what happens, right? Sephiroth gets double-edged sword, the thing that he thinks is executing his plan, has a way of backfiring like the other thing, like Voldemort. Yeah. That's what happened in OG. He, he killed Aerith, but in killing Aerith, he activated Holy. What if in embodying himself in Cloud, because not only is he getting Cloud, but what if that also means that Cloud is seeing Sephiroth? If Cloud in that moment is also getting to see the inner workings of Sephiroth. Ooh, ooh. And then Cloud sees for the first time, because he doesn't really have much context to Sephiroth or his goals or the motives that fire his goals. Cloud doesn't know any of that. But what if by Sephiroth inhabiting Cloud, that gives Cloud the perspective of what really makes Sephiroth tick, and that ends up being his downfall. Because what's cool is the way that Glenn Robbrook called out Rufus, I could see that being the same as Sephiroth. He looked at me, he said, mm-hmm. you're narcissistic, you're pig-headed, you're arrogant, but at the bottom of it, loneliness that's the same as Sephiroth at the very base of it is loneliness and if Cloud got that information if Cloud saw that fully clearly I think that would tee up Cloud being more than capable <clears throat> of using the power that Sephiroth puts in him the power and strength levels like what if Cloud does fully become Sephiroth strength level strength levels mm. woo I mean he already doesn't have it should but I think that could be cool, like a story that then makes that like flip and backfires on him. And the way it backfires by Cloud very simply getting control of the live stream and making a choice that is neither completely Aerith or completely Sephiroth. It's a balance. Aerith is yin, Cloud is yang, no, which is the man, man and which is the woman. Yin is yin is female, yang is male. Yeah. Yin and Yang, and Cloud balances right down the middle of the polarity. I love that. I love that. And then that, in a, in a way, heals the planet. That then gives humanity um, a fresh perspective. They stop being belligerent shitheads. They start stop sowing war and strife. Who better to stop war and strife than Cloud? Strife. And that would be very cool. And that would be very poignant, especially in times like this. I want twofold for the ending. I don't know about you guys. I want to see a resolution that is inspiring to how humanity can rise above being so uh, neglectful on the planet and its health, stop burning our own fucking home. That would be a cool message. And two, ending the divisions that are being manipulated by the powerful and the elite, like it's happening in Remake, and like it's just happened in freaking Iran. The lighting in here is going crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Part of that Iran situation. They've launched drones into Israel, and everyone's playing up like Israel did nothing wrong, even though they fucked up a consulate, and it's obviously all just 5D chess nonsense. Yeah. Everyone's talking out the side of their fucking mouth. You've got neocons in America showing their faces, just being like, yep, yep, war. War's good. We like war. Just fucking hollowed out ghouls who have no other motive than to vapidly just want more money because they get fucking political donations from defense contractors. And- yeah. Fucking neocons, just ruining the world. Jesus. Too many Chancellor Saroofs. Glenn Lodbrook is out there right now. Oh, Glenny Lodbrook that we've seen in this fucking game, he's here on planet Earth. And he's the motherfuckers that we, we are supposedly electing as leaders of men. Leaders of men. Think of humanity, Ginge. Think of all it all it's done, all it's capable of. I don't know for him. What higher power, what higher transcendental levels of, of love and wisdom we as a species are capable of, of higher cognitive thought. 
And the, the, the people that we elect as the best of us are basically nothing that then fucking old Glenn Lobrook with his stinky fucking feet out, <laughs> flip-flopping across in his robes going, war, fucking war, this is a fucking war. Jesus. Anyway, not enough rambling. 25 minutes of the stream. Good lordy lord. Let's get into the game. All right. I think we're going to Cosmo Canyon now. Well, I should really, instead of hijacking the first half hour of my stream, um, I should actually just consign these thoughts to videos. But He can't help himself. I can't help myself. He gets carried away. I do. Too carried away. Too excitable. Right. Who we got in the house? 85 hombres. Hit oh, that like button up, you beautiful disappeared now. buggers. War never ends. Well, I got thinking about that. I was like, am I just kind of a bit like idealistic um, and almost naive to be so anti-war as I am? Or to be so condemning of nations that play the war game so like fucking obviously because at the end of the day, is it not the case that the reason why America is the most powerful country in the world right now is because it has the biggest military might? <laughs> is it not the case that the British Empire colonized and became as powerful as it was because it had the biggest military might? Mm. Is it not the case throughout history that whoever has the biggest guns holds the most fucking cards at the table, has the most progressive yeah. uh, progression? Has there ever been a time in history where all the things that we've had, all the pleasantries that we've enjoyed as a species haven't come off the back of, well, who did war the best? So... The emus. <laughs> the emus. Oh, God. Tifa, such a big arc. You can say arse, then. Such a big arse. No, she hasn't got much of a nose. That was a nice message, just for You're just better off heading to the airstrip bring it right down to Earth, but... A nice message? I like that. Nice messages. It's pretty nice. It's good, you know, right, here we go. We should put this laptop screen down. Yeah, oh, that was, yeah, for Matthew Reeves. Go on. Hey, Pez, I remember when you were first starting out, man. Back when I was depressed and had no prospects, and your videos helped a lot. Now I'm an NASA engineer inter an engineering intern, and I love you, man. That's a nice message. Oh, that's a very nice message. Damn. Matthew. Engineering intern, that's so cool. You general bootlicker. Still can't find it in your heart to trust me, eh? The way we snuggled up last night, I thought we'd made a breakthrough. I only did that because I thought you were Marlene. Don't go making it. No. Yo, straight up. I love so it's about to see straight through Kate Sith immediately. Basically, Kate Sith is working for Shinra, but you get really rused out on it. Barrett's just straight up calling him a bootlicker. <laughs> Don't go making it weird. Yeah, Matthew, I love comments like that. They uh, they infuse me with all kind of juicy, squishy feelings. Um, whenever anyone's been having a rough one. And just watching my stupid face getting wrecked in video game after video game. That's wholesome as hell, man. But NASA, NASA intern. Ginger's jelly welly. Oh, Ginge scary. wants to become a videographer for the Formula One. Yeah. Does anyone have any Formula One contacts? I don't think they do. Make his little ginger. I've Formula One before and nobody seemed to take it. Ginger dream happened. I don't know why you, your dreams are even ginger. But... I owe you. Go. Come here. Right, let's just quickly finish up this challenge. Yeah! Beautiful music with beautiful female characters. In their magnificent female forms. You can do it, Ginge. <laughs> You've cheered me up countless times, Pez. Man, anything that gets a bit of smile energy into your day is a, is a good shout. That's kind of a life hack, dudes. I don't, don't realise how powerful it is. I, I sometimes forget. But you ever wake up and if you just start, you just 
putting a little soft smile on. It's what Buddha even recommended. If you like meditate, you know, you always got like the Buddha statues and stuff, and there's always that like small smile on. The little cheeky smile. Yeah. Smile energy. So Ginger's a fan of speed, eh? Oh yeah, he's a speed demon. Go fast. He's a roach type. Did uh Did he even not cast? Lightning? Yeah! Uh, do it! Super slime! The air! The air juggling! Ginger's impressed! He's like, oh my god, this looks really good! When am I gonna get this game? It looks so juicy! Nice. But if I do get it, will I be able to do it as well as Pez is doing it right now? Look how fucking good he is! Just spam one button. Shut up! There's nothing spamming about it, sir! We need more TPUP combos. These girls are the powerhouse. I think we'll keep up the pressure, okay? I just said that I think there's an anime TV series. That would be juicy, if not a bit risky. I don't know, man. Since uh, since the League of Legends one and the uh, the Cyberpunk one. Like they're killing it. Look at all of, what is it with all of a sudden? You know, these Western game devs coming on and killing the anime for me. And it's like Square Enix. I mean, where the fuck are the animes? I know you brought out that nine one, but I didn't even hear about it. I don't really get it. Do they even translate it? It's like Square should be the forerunners in any kind of video game anime market. They should be. I mean, because a lot of the animes that come out from Western games are obviously Western devs have acquired or asked Japanese anime creators or writers to do it for the so why? And I'm pretty sure that Square Enix have actually worked on them for other devs. Yeah. <laughs> so where's it for us? Their own games, come on! Get it done! Oh yeah, that's fun that now. Yeah, you're pretty hyped. That's pretty good. Apparently it's some cheesy one line in it, but I'm expecting it to pull out anyway. Yeah, you need some cheesy one-liners. I don't understand why it's, it doesn't go into Supreme Art of War at times. Anyway, Shadley Challenge done. Let's move on. Bowtie Artist, hello. Bowtie Artist is now so oi oi. Oi oi, you old monkfish. How are you? Are you well? Did you get anyone pregnant over the weekend? Are my trials not challenging enough? No, if they're not. Showed. Right. Okay. We've done that. I think there's a queen's bladder out there somewhere. Uh, we're gonna take the airstrip. Please let me know. A little... I'm always happy to help. Something on the community notice board. Oh, there's two. Teach me, great warrior. I'm looking for someone to teach me the way of the warrior. How we reach, no matter the sacrifice, no matter the suffering. All right. Grandma Hen, you won't believe the state of my chicken coop. Poked full of fresh owls. Some big enough for my little deers to wriggle and run off, and now I'm scrambling to track them down for busy. Go hunt chickens. <laughs> oh, chicken, where are you? At what point do you make it start making a side quest and you're like, yeah, yeah, this this is the one. Right, I've got to go this way anyway. I need to message Square Enix and tell them um, for Final Fantasy 17, just let, let me do the side quests. I'll make the sickest side quests in all the land. Yeah? Yeah, man. There'll be highs, there'll be lows, there'll be tears, there'll be tits. Say, can you spare a minute? Be everything. Really you know that weird black stuff coming out of the reactor? Well, 
The wind seems to be carrying it all the way over here. I'll admit my shack's never been in the best condition. But look at it. Holes everywhere. <laughs> Holes so big that would you believe it? All my chickens flew the coop. I plugged up the whole I know. And running around like crazy. How's an old woman like oh, she looks. She looks divvy. Does she not know her chickens are buying her? I'm over my flock of chickens! My, my flock of chickens! Uh, ask about, ask about the wind. I'll ask about the wind. Wait, she said in the black wind. The whispers took off the chickens. I tell you, all this craziness is enough to drive a poor woman mad. Oh yeah, you were already there, my love. the only good thing about this place. I'm just one that call. <laughs> so we just need to catch your cloud the cock and her. Oh, thank you, dearie. She scares me. They love the sound of this here cloud. Use it and they'll come out from wherever they're hiding. Oh, imagine she was your actual oh, nan. My nose should serve Please us well plan. here. Right. Take it away. <laughs> Three of them are still in the village. We should start by searching the surrounding area. She's the kind of creepy nan where she still thinks it's okay to bath her children when they're 15 plus. She's the kind of creepy nan who uh, fingers her pies way too much. Fingers her pies. It's all right. Come on, my dear. Try some. Try some. With the bony little creepy hands. Was she? Because <laughs> you also say that barfing, barfing, did you say barfing your grandkids at 15? Yeah, yeah. So, when I used to stay over my nan's house, I used to make sure I had the door locked because she would just come in me like, like open the door and she'd be like, Does it, oh, I've seen it all before anyway. I've seen it all before, yeah, that kind of creepy matter. Man. I don't want you to walk in. I look at my bath. penis. <laughs> Is that why you've got door locking trauma? Probably. Ginge fine. has a bizarre amount of uh, door locking trauma, and him and Bree agree on it. They think it's normal if you're the only person in the house, the only person to both close the bathroom door, which is weird, why would you even close it, but also to lock it? What? When I, well, no, when I'm the only person in the house that won't lock it. You, you agreed with Bree on that. Right, so you're doing it just to spite me then, that's why you said that. Agree that. Oh, when the other people are in the house, I'll lock the door. Well, since the Republic's on the scrap, he's Free fire pilots. Birds ought to count their blessings that Shinra hasn't come down on them yet. Free flyers couldn't they care less though. I can't hear them, where are they? See, Brian does it as well. Nobody owns the sky. Least of all Shinra. Brian's an alpha man. Gives him the finger as he flies by. But for real? Sounds like my kind of guy. Nah, man. Nova's the kind of motherfucker who pulls his pants down all the way to his ankles when he's using a urinal. <laughs> there we go, we've got a new chokey theme. Green choking boys. Watch this. Hello. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Isn't it? Oh, it's, it's a bit scatty. We were listening to this song the other day. Yeah, it was um we were gonna hop on a stream. Uh, the reason we've been off for a couple of days is we moved house one day, which is always a whole day off palaver. Especially we had to travel like a couple of hours. Uh, and then it was Ginger's birthday! It was his birthday! The old bugger's 32. So I, I, I went out, bought him the finest bottle of spiced rum it's pretty cool. that we could get. It was very nice. And uh, for me and Ginge, it's always Operation Winslow. Uh, describe Operation oh, Winslow, Ginge. Winslow is well, basically based off of a song. I need some water. Tell them what Winslow is. Winslow came about 
um, when we were trying to find the fine line you can get to without getting, you get pretty drunk, but it's the point where you're not crashing out and you don't have a hangover the next day. Um, and Winslow was named after a song by Corey Wong, which is just a complete bop. And yeah, we usually, it was usually just me and you that got to it. Like everybody else has gone yeah, to Yeah, like, Winslow is basically where you're like, peak drunk but you're also yeah. peak enjoyment yeah. you feel good you're not spinny you're not sicky and when everyone else is like crashed out at two three in the morning you're the only two left yeah and just jamming out at winslow and the trick to getting to winslow you've got to pace your drink like water you must drink plenty of water several decades jesus how do I get off the choker box? We won't hold back. Oh god, stab an enemy. Defeat the enemies before they fully evolve. Hey, good morning, Rubri. No, don't go to spot. Ah. I'll fully evolve. Easy, easy challenge. We had a pretty good pick for the good actually from the last time. Yeah, very nice. Best to be found. Top of the morning, my dear. Hi. Bree's going, going straight in for the cookies first thing in the morning. I need to keep my air covered. <laughs> How about your hair? Yeah, it's just, it's messy. It's messy and mucky. Just... Yeah, it's a bit better. I don't know where this hair is going, but it's growing and it's going somewhere. <clears throat> I was riffing to them all the things we were riffing about Bree Bree. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, the nature of air with song, all the cool things on the Tifa scene. Um, also, I know you can't really answer this, but a couple of people were like, what does Bree think of the ending? Which is is it fair to say? I won't consider the spoiler. Just just give me an idea, yay or nay, and and how strong on the yay or nay side. How polarizing the seven remakes ending? No spoilers on it, but would you say it's very polarizing? Yeah. Like pretty polarized, or you'd say very, like like very. Is it just very, or is it very? No. Which one? No. <laughs> I just love my mom. No. <laughs> All right, that's, that's scary. Pretty terrifying. It's only polarizing because people are stupid. Right, yeah, so this is something me and Bree were discussing. So, Square Enix are not above misdirects, they're not above creating red herrings. Um, and what I have seen time and time again in Final Fantasy as a whole, but especially Final Fantasy VII, is that unless you have a very good. There's nothing that can describe how you can develop this sense. But unless you know how the writers are, what these developers like the their thought process is, which you can only get, yeah, all their tricks, all of the the types of plots or themes they focus on and they utilize, unless you have a good sense of that, which you only get through time playing and not just playing, but also dissecting. It's very hard to get a, a grasp of it, so there's a lot of things that will send people down very irrelevant, like nonsensical tunnels of logic. Mm. And to be honest, that even happens with Final Fantasy YouTubers. I have seen many 
farm fantasy YouTubers who are now on pretty big channels where they're talking about aspects of the plot. I'm like, nah, that's not how that's not how they they think. Like, like the prime example, the easiest example, is thinking about Seven from a more Steins Gatey approach, from a more like fucking Star Trek, like kind of more from a science, like how these crazy plot devices operate from a like a science mechanics standpoint, and it's like this is a game based on spirit spirituals. Mysticism, where the concept of a soul is front and centre, and it's like you're looking at it from totally the like wrong lips. <laughs> I think, and to be fair, nothing I've seen in this game so far has led me to think otherwise. Get off new feet. She's under 15. Alright. I'm running with the girls, but I feel like I'm overplaying them. I'm having too much fun. And that, that doesn't seem right. Why have a name that is right from that? Dubious, sir. I'm neglecting some leveling on some people. No, I'm just gonna. See, the, the thing is, who actually runs Aerith, man? Like, for mob clearing. Because usually, me personally anyway, I want to be using her mana for curing. <laughs> Just curing up the team. It seems so squanderous to spend magic actually on the field. Or maybe I should just be doing more, actually. Just re remembered, I need to more be focusing on... Oh my god, cloud material slots are empty! Fuck it out! Precious slots not being leveled! Bollocks! Uh, uh, oh my god. Full neglect. Alright, I need to take the H. I'm gonna take the HP off Aerith. I'm still in Kajata build basically. And that's not it, man. That's not it. Uh, what do we need? Oh, I'm going to be binding subversion. Uh, what the fuck is breach? <laughs> What's breach? Subversion. Might as well get empowerment material going on a second empowerment. Might as well. Um, oh my god. My build's hideous right now. The summons make my build so sloppy. I've got to do some house cleaning quick. Can you read the comments to me, Ginge, while I do this? As you suck down that banana. Arcane Ward is a boss killer. Oh, Arcane Ward is very great. nice. Yeah, it's great. Area for bosses usually Arcane Ward and her magic damage is crazy. Oh, for sure. For sure it is. Yeah, I don't buy the whole time travel thing. The sub cloud and air are are seeing isn't time travel. It's their fate of what they're seeing. The game talks about fate a lot. Yeah. Oh, a hundred percent. And you know that's actually really fitting. Again, with with a very strong Norse uh, mythos base to the story. Basically, I, I see Seven as a just a mix between Kabbalistic and Norse influences at the very centre of it. Um, and fate is obviously a massive thing, you know, like Norse mm. Norse storytelling. For all intents and purposes, uh, Aerith is a what? What do they call them? Were they Norns? Were they the females that? Uh, the female mythical mythical figures that the norms that mm. wove the threads of fate. Yeah, she's more or less a norm. Norm, if that's actually the right word. <laughs> Juice debuff duration. Wow, so I can actually make myself immune to it at some point. 
I should probably get that linked up. Patience. patience with? Brian just says, Pez patience. With, with what? Says, Don't be patient. No! <laughs> no! It's a life lesson. I am very patient. For certain things. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. I don't want to put spirit up on, but it's done. So I've got a warding material on. Don't know why I'm leveling a second and not just going through with reds. There we go. House cleaning done. <clears throat> right. Yeah, I need to stop kicking air out of my party. Soon, I'll be crying on the inside. Has Didn't Victor play Aerith enough when I had the chance! Hey. Huh? Hey. You know exactly what I mean. <laughs> Aerith soon is going to be... She's going to be donezo. Unless she's not. Unless they've gone... Unless Square Enix save Aerith. Which, don't tell me, I, I don't want to know, but that would just be... Patience of living with all this PS material. <laughs> That's the thing, uh, there's material in here that I'm treating like I would certain items, like Mega Potions, or Elixirs, or all my Phoenix Downs, which is... Maybe one day I'll use them. But probably won't. FF16 DLC soon. Yes. Right, I don't know why I'm heading back to this reactor. Alright, there's nothing actually here for me. I want to get into all of this. It's got to be a way I can traverse through. It's kind of pointless heading down here. There's nothing... Where am I going? Be clear of mind, Pez. Yeah? It's Brian again. I think he's... Is he, is he in a very... very Buddhisty mood? Yeah. <laughs> you can see some unrest. Be still. Alright. Oh! <laughs> Oh, moan! Break yourself. You sense the dis ease. Right. Let's go activate this remnant wave. Keep it together. Go on, Kate, sit. Do your things. Do lots of juicy, juicy things. Oh, that's good fortune telling damage. Wee, wee. Wow, you can just spam this. Let's see what happens if I just keep going. Get on top of him. Oh, here we go. Oh, he just toots his megaphone. He just floats there. Pez, do you like quotes? I love a good quote. He loves a frig mag frig mag um, magnet quote in the morning. Mm-hmm. Right, there was a there was a, a bird just then. Oh there he is. Follow the bird! We are gonna check out that spring, right? Yes, we're gonna check out the spring. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, hit me. So have we even sussed if there's anything we want to do in this area, Ginge? Garuda statue. Yeah, Garuda statue. We did see nearby to this new area and we've come south of Bali now. 
There's a, a shisha bean bag in an outdoor cinema lounge. Cloud. Yeah. Very cool. Like but it turns out all the movies are Russian. Chip. I don't know. It appears to be in the past leading to the reactor. The terrain you will need to traverse is littered with scrap metal and other such debris. Please watch your step. You know, the best quotes, honestly, the guy who had some of the best quotes, but they're real thinkers. Old Lao Tzu. Lao Tzu had some good ones. You want me to give you some Dao quotes, Ging? Go on. See, see how they sit. See how they also sit with the chat. Alright, what about this? It's not so much... Well, I guess it's a quote. Hmm. Speak of hope, not despair. Let your words bind up wounds, not cause them. That's just, that's just a very elegant way of saying... Stop coming. Oh, I'm bringing a bit of when I go back to the UK as well. Ah, oh, the Brits. The Brits are some of the most complainy. <laughs> We're real complainers. <clears throat> Ah, uh, yeah, this is this is a good one. If you are depressed, you are living in the past. If you are anxious, you are living in the future. If you are at peace, you are living in the present. Mm. This is true. I'm not really depressed. I'm not really anxious, and I'm not really at peace. So does that mean I'm just not thinking? Talk about rustic. Then again. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what that means. What is this place? Past of modernity, go for eternity. He says. Oh, we got. We got a chunky black uh, thorn. Whatever, I don't have time to. <laughs> that arm, that magnificent arm. Uh, it is a weapon, but how does it work? Uh, a universal adapter, allowing you to switch out. So, if this guy didn't live out here in the shack, so this is this guy is clearly your modern day incel. You'd usually be looking at. Underage manga girl comics, be collecting them, still living in his mum's basement. That boy, yeah, he's a, a skilled weaponsmith. Oh, look at all these scratches. What is that body Wait, shape? Have you been going around punching things with your attachments? Uh, occasionally. <laughs> so ought to have given you multiple bone fractures. But this unique cylinder provides unparalleled shock absorption, allowing for high impact performance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The genius that built this. Uh, Found it in a crate. An old friend, I guess. Don't know where he's at now, though. Uh, wait right there. <laughs> Eureka! <laughs> he's a uh, weapon otaku. <laughs> My name's Izo. I've been trying to create the ultimate weapon, but my attempts have all failed. Ultimate no weapon. Alright. But thanks to you, I finally made a breakthrough. Murasame? Is it Murasame? Is that the counter of uh, Musama? How do you say it? Is it? Is it Musamane? Matt, no, Masamune. <laughs> Masamune, that's uh, the Sephiroth's weapon. That's an actually historical weapon. And then Mur. Musa, 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 Morning, Musa, You live here, so about Barrett's arm. Though it seems crude at a glance, look close. The craftsmanship is remarkable. Whoever made it must have been a specialist in a completely different field. No mere weaponsmith would have been half as clever. All right, the ultimate weapon. Tell me about Indeed. it. I've made it my life's work. Frustrating though it's been. How to conceive a weapon I lack the vocabulary to describe. You live here? I'm originally from Junon, but I could hardly breathe there. So I decided to leave it all behind. I wandered in search of somewhere I could build my weapons in peace. Oh yeah, you're and right, Jinji. Yeah. I wound up here. 
Masamune. Goro Nudo Masamune was a medieval Japanese blacksmith widely acclaimed as the greatest swordsmith. Created swords and daggers. Muramasa oh, Mura was a sword. Huh? Muramasa was a sword. Masamune possessed a reputation for superior beauty and quality. Mark the period where the stillness of his swords was often impure. He is considered to have brought to perfection the art of Ni, which is Martinistic crystals embedded in, in a perilite matrix, thought to resemble stars in the night sky. Oh, shit. Is it, how'd you say it? Muramasa. Muramasa. <laughs> it's all it's all caps locking. So oh, Muramasa was also a swordsmith. Sengo Muramasa founded Muramasa School and lived. Right. Tell us all you need is some material. Sure, why not? Just leave it to us. Wonderful, thank you. I believe I left a map in my storage shed that you can use to find what I need. Grab that before you head out, and you shouldn't have any trouble. That's interesting. I've played many a Tokugawa game, but yeah, uh, Muramasa's katana swords gradually became a symbol of the anti-Tokugawa movement. Yeah. Gotta say, I've never seen someone so interested in my arm. Most folks try their... The swords of Muramasa referred to regarded as a Yoto. Yeah. Wicked katana. That's putting it mildly. Right, so I've got a couple of juices I should be learning. Uh, I'm running these two, but I'm just going to run whoever uh, whoever's weapons I haven't mastered. Uh, how do I see? How do I see weapon masteries again? Ah, uh, right, there we go. Oh snap! I've not learned Umbral. Well, okay, yeah, I've not been going in Prime mode enough. I've got a Crystal Sword now. Wind up and lead an overhead strike. Increased damage on Stagger cost 2 ATB. Oh, so this is a big Stagger Smacker. Nice, powerful, juicy, succulent. Okay, Yellow Megaphone, I've learned. Man, I need more freaking K Megaphones. He's got so few abilities right now. Uh... I've learned Tiger Claws, Chi Traps, very cool, very, very nice. Love me a Chi Trap. Um, yeah, this is this is a juicy one. I only use during Vengeance mode a full haste. Very nice. Watchers of Spite, deplete all the Vengeance gauge to heal allies. Yeah, let's start learning that. Let's get material on. Um, um... I don't know, might as well get the wind up to Aeroga. Eh. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, let's get the charge ray. Oh, stores HP when activating Vengeance mode. How much HP? All of the HP? Man, Red's got some absolute succulente. Oh, charging up a current rush, launching enemy into the air with the fewest blow. Alright, cool. Not put any old shit on. Uh, so I've got to do Cloud Red, Cloud Red and Barrett. They've all got something to learn. Let's do it! In the old days, I would have said no touching and decked his ass. In the <laughs> old days? If it ain't the present, ass. it's the past, son. <clears throat> mm. Pick out a nice Dow quote for us, Ginge. Have a proof soon. Huh? Don't have a Dow quote. Why? This is on the kazoo that says the best fighter is never angry. Is that true though? Yeah. If you look at most of the top, angry, if you yeah. look at most of the top MMA fighters right now, they're, they're, they're pretty ragey. I know. You do see some pretty calm, yeah, powerful fighters. Like uh, my my ex had a cousin. I don't know if you ever met him. He was also a big ginger. Don't know what else it'd be. He's one of those types. 
Well, he's the nicest, calmest dude in the world. You would not expect a fighting bone in his body. Yeah. Whatsoever. And he's like one of the best kickboxers in the whole yeah, my, um, area. It's like my brother's ex. Um, her her brother is like the nicest guy ever, and he's actually like he's started. Doing but he's a he's an absolute hands. weapon. He's like an absolute weapon. Like he's pretty much won yeah. all his fights, and I think he's it's funny going, that. trying to go pro at that. Like he's and then there's Conor McGregor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all of these things have come back. Well, I'm just running in circles now. All right. Oh, I want to be heading up here. I want to get to this. Uh... Oh, there is a scent. Sniff, Chunky. Sniff deep. Sniff true. Nice. Oh no, you're pecking in the wrong spot, you fool. Oh, Ginger's bringing out some of the Alan Watts. We do love a bit of the Alan. What? Couldn't find it. What are you going on about? This is a real secret of life. To be completely engaged with what you are what you are doing in the here and now, and instead of calling it work, realise it's his play. Alan Watts was a very playful dude. Yeah. Every time he was doing his talk, he would either just have like an archery bow and he would just like firing it up in the air and just watching it. Or just spin a Diablo. A person who thinks all the time has nothing to think about except thought, so he loses touch with reality and lives in a world of illusion. Whoa. Whoa. I don't know what just came out of the ground, but I care, I care not. Zoom in. Look, I'm at max speed. Ah, oh, crashed. When you come into this world, you came out of it like a wave from the ocean. You are like strange. Yeah, I like his quotes. He always says that you weren't born into the world, you were born out of it, like an apple is growing on the tree. Like yeah, Alan really, uh, I like his, uh, his thoughts because he kind of talks about how the human mind, has, uh, especially the modern one, has come to... Uh, man thinks that he is separate. He creates like an invisible wall between him and environment, between him and the external, the external, external macrocosm, and he makes himself like a little insular microcosm, and doesn't realise just how cast off from. Uh... I don't know if, if Alan Watts. I, I guess it's a panpsychic way of thinking, right? Which is the. Think of the universe as a living, breathing, yeah. you know, a live organism, mm -hmm. and one that, by virtue, because you're a living, breathing, alive organism, so is it. And I have felt in my own uh, life experience that there is something powerful that you kind of mm -hmm. gain. When you uh, consider yourself in that in that sense, yeah. The one that really got me is, uh, or the one I like is, oh yeah, the Big Bang would only be ninety nine point nine 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 percent complete without you. So your part, like without you, nothing would be whole. Or you're required for everything to be considered yeah. the whole, the entirety of everything. We're getting deep! We're killing frogs! When you swim, you don't grab hold of the water because if you do, you will sink and drown. Instead, you relax and float. Mm. Yeah, I can't remember, I don't know who it was who said it, but. Um, 
Oh, it was actually, uh, what's his name? Heyshin? That, um, or Heyyen? The Taoist guy we do most mornings. Mm. Uh, saying that the things that you try to grab onto and hold away, or, or the things that you try to grab onto and hold close, will always get pushed further away, and the things that you try to push away will always come closer. That's a good one. Charging up guts. I'm oh, charging up guts pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good in fact. Yes. Getting poisoned by Watcher's Respite. So we go, this is gonna hit. Alright, so. I'm blocking poison. Right, so now if I activate Vengeance mode. <laughs> kind of epic, like they can kill everyone like that. They're in All right, let's do this big juicy prime mode. Just prime mode. Alright, are you going to do Grand Canyon in this screen? Uh, I may have. It depends how much June on offers and serves up to me because everything in me wants to go Cosmo Cannon uh, I think I'm going to get some big theory juice I'm hoping we get some big theory juice out of Cosmo Canyon is Cosmo Canyon a pretty pivotal part? so basically yeah. with Tifa going in the live stream and seeing right, the state of the planet their logic in this is yeah let's go to Cosmo Canyon it's the home of planetology um, so there's a big observatory, Bugenhagen is like this wise old man who has, big yeah, yeah, he has a lot of, a lot of knowledge, he gives us a lot of details in OG. Now what I'm really hoping for is that Bugenhagen gives us some extra mustard. I don't need you to explain to me that the world is, is made of life Force, memory, energy, I don't need you to explain just the basic mechanics. I mean, you can do it, Bugenhagen, but you've got to go further, man. And I personally think he has gone further. Even in just his cloak. He's wearing this cloak with, like, a star pattern on it. And this was juicy. It was very juicy. Because I had this, like, Kabbalistic theory, which is, like, five worlds. And you have the nine Sephiroths, and each uh, world has its own version of the nine Sephiroths. Now, if you go to his cloak, you have a central, uh, like, white orb, I think, yeah. which is like white materia. It's also called the Keta, um, which is essentially source. It's also called the Einsof, which is what the ca uh, Kabbalists basically call God. They say Iron Soft. It's the infinite pool of intelligent beginning. Oh, okay. With no beginning and no end and whatnot. So he has that in his cloak, right? And then he has five stars around it. And then off of those five, branch on each of them nine. I had my Kabbalistic theory before. Before that, I, I looked at his cloak. Because somebody, well, I didn't find it. Someone messaged me like, yo, Pez, what the fuck? It's crazy you're talking about this 5 and 9 configuration because I just found this on Bugenhagen's cloak. There's 45 stars on there in the circle. I'm like, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Confluence. Theory canon confluence. So... I'm very excited to see what Bugenhagen serves up. How do I get to this area, hombres? <laughs> I might just head to Cosmo Canyon, because... Uh... Is this all walled off here, or can I enter... Th it looks like you could go through here. Here or here? Yeah, maybe. What is your favourite region so far? Favourite region? I mean, I'm actually really enjoying Longaga. People said it was... The worst and like really confusing to navigate, which is happening right now. But it's, it's very pretty. It's very pretty. For I do like it. 
Yeah, I think it's all walled off right now, because I'm in the tower. There's no... There's no... Yeah, well... But I don't know, maybe the grasslands, just because, you know, that was the most impactful, walking up, and for the first time seeing, seeing the scope of this game. And they made some extra effort on certain vista points. Like the exit gate had gone by to get to that area. Huh? Joshua is saying, take the exit gate at Gondarba to get to that area. Oh, there. Well, use the feed to lure the chicken. They got away. Oh, really? This is the thing. I'll pull the clanger. Oh, this is a thing? Oh, man. Where's the old old bin? Is this her? No. That is the old bin. That's her. She's got a different colour dress. What? She looks the same though. Oh god, no. The old bin's the chicken coop. Oh no, not this square. Not this. Wait, where, where are you saying the old bin is? This is her. Yeah. Fiery spirits. Alright. Yeah, little pippinies, but she of course different. they're all my darlings. Well, where's the coop? There, isn't it? What? I don't know, actually, no, it's been told me. Use the clanger to do what? Where's the, where's the fucking chicken go? Oh. I don't know why I got so angry. We're going this say. Is that behind the house? Is this it? So I've got to get them behind the house. Right, it's so just through here. That's a different old bin. Yeah, I thought it was. No, it's not a different old bin. Is it a different one? The device? name's Kazra, weren't it? I am going to give the cook Look. Thorough yeah, and she's talking about chickens. Why are you guys trying to confuse me? Well, I'm sure she had a different colour dress. Right, right, use the clanger. Can't you just grab the chicken? Oh, I don't know, yeah. Why can't you just grab the chicken? Just wring its little chicken neck. Right, well, come on, chicken! Oh, he's coming! Persevere. I said, pull the clan now, look at him, he's coming. I hate these sort of quests. These are the only ones I don't have time for. <laughs> no! Don't tell me you got too close. There you are, Pivoty. You oh. came back to your mommy. Dude, your chicken was over the road, you silly old mare. Like, Don't get your own chickens. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a bit better. Where? Where? Oh, this little fuck. Come on. Before I start losing stream viewers, everyone like for top tier chicken baiting content. Careful with, with raging chickens. Yeah, apparently Ginge said that he knows someone got disemboweled by a, by a cop. Well, I, I know that they have illegal cop fighting in certain countries and I believe they strap blades to the chicken's legs, the cocks, and somebody got attacked that while getting in there. They got like, their throat cut or something like that one and the chicken's going crazy. Could just be a, a lie, but it sounded quite interesting. I mean, putting... putting Freaking razor claws and chickens' feet. That's, that's, that's crazy. Alright, so while the chicken's moving, I've got a key. Hold the feed clang still when the chicken stops moving. What? Hold, 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 hold the clang still when the chicken stops moving. What do you mean? Right, so if he stops moving. Okay. Oh god, this is torture. Come on, you little shit. Right, here we go. Keep moving it. Right, here we go. You almost lost interest. The chicken got myself off the fucking wing! <laughs> oh! Oh! Someone! Ginge, please, please, get the, get the chicken back. Do it. What are you supposed to do? 
You're supposed to use the feed clanger to load the chicken back to Kazra. <laughs> Change. Alright, I'm just sure how it does it. Right. Throw the clanger. So when the chicken stops moving, keep the clanger still. If not, move it. How you, well, you, put it, you didn't tell me to press L2. Uh, what am I supposed to tell you anything? The game telling you. Because I haven't done it yet. Neither had I. So I don't know why I'm so angry. Yeah. That's it. Pull that clanger. Chicken, stop moving. Keep it still. Where is she anyway? She's back behind you. Go on, you can turn your camera to see where you're going. That's it, you're doing good. Ginge, you don't know where you're going, mate. Yeah, I do. All right, okay. Are you looking at the map? No. <laughs> oh, he tried, to, he tried to rush the clanger. He's trying to speed rush you, Ginge. So keep it still, keep it still. Don't let him, don't let him off the hook. That's it, Ginge. That's it. Tune into that cock. That's it, Ginge. This is big. Yeah. This is big. She's behind you. You're so close. <gasps> big plays. MVP. Where is she? She's behind. Pull the clang a bit more. Quick. Hippie. Good job, Ginge. You're in my good books again. Well, was I not then? For a while. Why? No? Because you drank all my rum. That was my rum you bought for me, didn't you? When the chicken is about to charge, but it's bank Yankee. It. Oh my god, this one charges right first time. So what are you then? Don't yell, Ginge. I don't deal with that. Anyway. He's about to charge Ah, gotcha. You're going the right way? Yeah. yeah. Keep it still. That is top cock clangy. Oh! 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 This is the top tier content. You waste your Monday watching. That's it. You've got to keep him interested. He's going for a charge. Oh, oh, he's, oh, he's going for a double charge. He's honed in on that one. Fucking hell. Clang a seeking missile. Right, over here, you idiot. Woman, get your chicken. Yes. That chicken just run away. Pete. 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 How far could she have gone? Here's where she's on the other side of the Gongaga forest. <laughs> All the way through the forest. The airfield! You're fucking jerking! That would have been enough. Wait, the airfield? Where's the airfield? Uh, for, for some reason I thought that was actually the reactor. Wasn't that where the Raonicas went? No, that was the reactor. Where's the airfield then? Oh bloody hell, this is too far. Right, this is going to be something different. I think Klaus is going to grab this one. Wait, are you kidding me right now? If I have to clang at this distance, I'm going to hang myself. This is already too far! <laughs> no. Damn it, Pimpley. No fucking way. Are you joking? Wait, this is the is this the airfield? Somewhere in the vicinity. Allow me to lead the way. Yes, I already am, Red. Go on. Pippily's a straight up animal. Right. Is this supposed to be an airfield? I guess so. That's a long way back to town. Careful now. Are you <laughs> Ginge, this is going to take both of our skills combined. I'm going to go 
And if I get too tired, I'm going to pass the control over to you. Alright. Together we can do this. Okay. <laughs> you don't look enthused. I don't like these quests. They like, give me PTSD from the WoW. Um... Wait, they haven't given me a map, Ginge. There isn't a map for me to... Oh my god. Square, you absolute diabolical buggers. These like the WoW escort quests they used to have back in the day where the character would walk like one mile an hour and then would run away. Are you joking? And it reset itself. No, oh, no it's a, bloody... a beast! Is he after the chicken? No! People leave! LeBron! Oh, never drop. <laughs> Get off the LeBron! <laughs> Maybe the chicken will see us defending it. Wait, they've put some sort of derpy... They've actually made a theme for this? Oh my god, this is... this is heinous. I missed. I missed my charging up again. Oh. Right, got a really powerful cloud of spell, but when they're staggered, let's drop it, let's see how strong it is. What was it? Oh, yeah, no, I haven't equipped it yet, so let's just go for it. Wow, go into prime mode, there we go. Oh! Oh my god, that hit so hard! Woo! Charging up a car! Wait, why not? Oh yeah, I need two, two bars. Just use the hill. Ah, oh, pretty good healing. Pretty good. Ow! Gotta keep using this to get the level in. That was juicy. Did you see Cloud go up on the sword? And... Come on, I'm jumping his back. Is it? Sees red as a a guardian. Just have red eat it. Yeah. Red just needs to pick it up. Oh. That's what happened with Tom, wasn't it? Hey. Their newfound fear of the outside world has driven them home with all haste. Okay. Eat the chicken? More or less. They were quite <laughs> eager to return to the village. Kazra must take excellent care of them. Alright. Is it... Is it bad that I'm a little... I, I'm actually a smidge disappointed they didn't make us... No, I'm not. ...fully clangor all the way back? You would hate it. Oh, I would have hated it, but you know what? I was... I was kind of ready for that that level of suffering you should have committed square right who's this teach me great warrior since you're here I need your help to become a true warrior please guide me to greatness I'm so tetsu by the way with the GYC the GYC praises you know Gongaga youth can they turn some state of the art general weaponry into scrap metal. Oh, so you heard about all that? Well, I don't want to brag or anything, but we crushed him. Really? You have Yes, you did. You did that. So we said yes, you did. You know? What? Who? Zack? What the hell? Wait, where's my Zack? What do you mean? Oh. Pez, you're in a toxic relationship with Square. 
I want them to beat me. In a weird roundabout way, I want the abuse. <laughs> He's a friend of mine. We grew up together, hung out and stuff. I haven't heard from him since he left the village, though. He is the Zack. <laughs> okay. But I'm sure a soldier like him's pretty busy. We may not be at war, but I bet they've got him traveling all over. To protect the village, of course. We're seeing more monsters these days, and I want to do a my Zach best. friend. And you know, how it wholesome! It'd be kind of cool if everyone in the coalition called me a hero and the captain gave me a promotion, or something like that. Well, you gotta have dreams, and this guy has them, so Sorry, no can do. Oh, we're just passing through. What? Please, I'm begging you. Huh? Wait, me? I knew as soon as I saw your throwing star. From the moment I laid eyes on that, you and that throwing weapon, star is lethal, man. God damn. Please, train me in your warrior ways. Oh, I don't know. And now it's gone. Well, <laughs> since you're such a huge fan. What was that? So, does Yuffie stuff the star into a into a booty shorts? One or two orbs might be enough compensation for my time. You sure you're up for the challenge? Of course. I'll do anything. Start by eating this Decheo bean. Okay, new disciple, meet me over there when you're ready. For pain. Don't worry, I am more than ready to receive your wisdom. Next time we see this guy, he's going to be Come broken, on. isn't he? See what you can learn, my second disciple. <laughs> <laughs> this could be fun. This quest. <laughs> oh God. Oh. Into the theme, into some Wu Tai music. Nice. Yeah. Five minutes later, we just see this guy in a black robe, just hobbling. Man, this is making me miss Sonon. Pez, heal me! Oh, can I? I can't even heal myself! Come on, Sotetsu. Oh, First and foremost, a ninja must have stamina. I have a surgery. Oh, I didn't read the first comment. I have a surgery coming on Thursday. I'm really worried. I have got a code. Oh, no. So let's see oh, that's... how much you've already got. Shall that's we? no fun. After all, a ninja warrior must be able to make a tactical retreat back to her comrades when they need her. Mm. Understood, Master. Alright. Mount Reaver, what you need is you need soup and you need binaural beats. Binaural beats. Either before bed or while you're sleeping, listen to them. You've got to get better for your surgery. And binaural beats actually work. There's a science behind it where basically it sends two different frequencies in each ear and it's weird but when your brain tries to balance those two frequencies somehow it, it activates some sort of center of your brain that actually accelerates healing weird but because i was so dubious with this binaural beat nonsense but i've actually healed a couple of illnesses with it or at least I thought I did. Who actually knows? But I read the science of it and it actually checks out. Also, placebo yourself, mate. Right, we're doing all the fight. So Tetsu, get in them. Go on, mate. That's it, he's going for the strike. Oh no, he's been poisoned. So Tetsu's dead. Ah! Come on. Chaotic shot. Tetsu, take cover! Right, charge. Charge to Tetsu. Go, that's it. That's it, lad. Do it. No! So Tetsu! Oh, pressure an enemy. Oh. Oh, fuck. There was, there was more to that quest. Oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Fire. Don't overdo it. 
So that's his Tetsu fall in battle. If I could let him, I would. <laughs> Come on. No time to waste. <laughs> World, water, war. Like the saying goes, can't see the ninjas for the trees. Ah, hold on, Satetsu. There's loot, mate. I've probably got some uh, new juices to transmute, crush an enemy twice. It's gonna be best to probably get these. Weakness, ice, alright, sweet. Do I have any ice? I do have ice. Nice. Right, that pressure? Wait, what? How do I pressure hitting them with powerful defensibility while they are waiting to ambush? Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Go, hit him. There we go, let's pressure one. Red, sidewinder this full, quick. Nice, there we go. I need some healing. Master you fish a good lesson. <laughs> okay, let's keep up the pace. I would join you Yuffie's temple training. Hey oh great Riek! Yoroi right. Still in Gongaga, heck yeah. Nice! Someone who likes Gongaga. This brings me joy. I love this place. Look at it. Have you ever been to a place similar to this I I R L? Uh, this is magnificent. I think the lighting on the, this area is a bit too a bit too bright though. Yes, go down the road, Claude. Alright, what's the mission? I hate you these dudes. Stagger enemies twice. You know. What are these guys weak to? The Grand Olds? Alright. Nice. It's going to be a nice, easy. You're attacking them twice while they are guarding. Hitting them with path while they are guarding or counter attacking with pressure. Nice. One stagger. Scrummy, scrummy. Well, these guys we good. We pressure. Okay. And there's the second stagger. Sweet, now we just gotta get the kill. Very nice. Good job, young squire. Oh no, no guys. If you were to have to take me on as your apprentice. Let me know in the comments. What would you train me in? What are you most equipped to take me on as your young Padawan? What am I learning from you? Based on your answers, I will be picking one master. I'll be moving into a house close by to you. And we're doing it. We Wait, is that it? a Tombri? <laughs> Tombri Scarecrow? I hope 
hope you've got more in you, because that ain't gonna cut it. Right. I'm gonna take a quick look around. You rest up for the next round. <laughs> Yuffie's gonna make him quit, isn't she? <laughs> she should focus on stamina, not strength. <laughs> yeah, Zack told me the same thing. He used to train here all the time. Called it his secret gym. Of course, oh. it wasn't much of a secret since everyone knew about it. But it sounded cool. Hard to live up to the legacy of a guy like that. Fucking hell Check it this is. Out. It was his favorite exercise. Her strength. Her body. And mind. Oh! Start. Oh! By training. You're behind. Why, why hit me? Why hit me with fills, man? Bend your knees more. Engage your glutes. In your quads. Got it. Feels out the left field. Oh. The music is is making this. Wherever he is, I hope he's doing good. You cramping up? Hit me right my my feels bucket. My, my feels, my feels bucket that was successfully containing all of the feels just just got a puncture. There's an hole in me bucket. Why, why is the front door ringing? Why is the front door ringing? I don't know anyone in this mm -hmm. country. Can you be a little bit Jimmy? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, come on, you got it, Ginge. Come on up. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, yeah, sure. Oh, so the pool. Oh, yeah. thank you. Yes. Cheers. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yes, we've got a we've got a lovely little pool. It's delicious, and it's the first one that's actually been cold. Uh, since being out here, there's always been hot pools. Which, when you're in a hot, sweaty country, the last thing you want is a hot pool. What the? <laughs> Get back! getting elf dunked on. Oh man! Wait, oh master! Oh, these are something different. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, I'm low. Seeing red. Oh Jesus! Okay, this is gonna go south real quick. Need a breather. Uh, what's the exploit in the elemental weakness will draw their ire. After some pilot they'll you know, begin to rest. They feel enough damage while they're resting. The impression. Come on. Uh, okay. So let's get them thoroughly pissed off. Uh, it's gonna get mad now. Wait for it to rest. Hit him with damage! Oh, did Barrett just miss? Oh my god, Cloud's so low. Oh god, Red's dead! Oh, oh my god, no! Oh, oh so Tetsu! Everyone's dead! Oh, bollocks! Come on! Oh. Oh. He's not resting! Oh, I need to steal skin and get focused. Oh my god, that hit so hard. Get back! You beast! So <laughs> Tetsu! Oh. Hold the line, it's just us, lad. Oh no. Don't know how that charge missed, but it did. I'm grateful for it. Back line commands, I've got some. No! Bring out a summon. 
Bring out a summon. <laughs> getting, I'm getting annihilated. I'm getting eviscerated. Help me! Help me, Phoenix! Rise. Rise, Sir Cloud. Rise him now. Quick. Exhaustion. Ah, oh, oh, it was only up for a little. <laughs> this is going horrendous. I can't believe Barrett just died. Right, so Tetsu is also less than 50% life. Come on, is that enough? Alright, it's fine, we got this. With me. Whatever. Right, Firebolt Blade. Should be the one. Alright. Ah. Prime mode. Ah. Jesus, this is going horribly. Oh. Holy moly. We, won? we actually won? Wow. All that training really paid off. Yo, thanks. That's it. I've got an idea. See you back in the he, village. He's come up with a new recipe? <laughs> right. Oh man, this is wholesome. That was very wholesome. Too wholesome. Right, before I head back... Well, first up, I need some new teammates. I could just heal these ones, but I'm just going to get... I'll get some new ones out. Uh, who else do I do some... I think these two are fine. Let's get the Eufster in. Alright. I want to get to uh, this new area. At least this Remner, so I can TP back here. That's got to be the goal. Let's go. <laughs> Crash Bandicoot music. Alright, can I boing off that that mushroom to get over the river? I think so. Come on. Out of the way. Out of the way, guys. <laughs> There's choky congestion. Right. No, how do I... Is it up and over that bridge? How do I do this? Right, so there's a broken ladder, and there's... How do I get back up? Ah! I'm starting to see what people meant about Gungaga. This is tough terrain. Zack Secret Gym. Come on, Squid. Why are you going to do, my, do me out like that? This really sounds like the uh, Gang Beast music. 
Yeah. Well, when you load up a game of gang be beast. It's like identical. Like tower. Ah, oh, there's another pigeon. Oh god. How do I get up to that tower then? Right, there's a mushroom jumping point over there. Up here. Oh, there's a there's a sniff. Sniff, mate. Hey Pez, how are you enjoying the Gongaga region so far? There's a juicy story. <laughs> it's it's my favourite type of uh, ecology. Now they put some Zach Phil's Cisne's back. It's lovely. But I want to riff an idea with you guys. I want to riff. So you know when Tifa came out of the live stream. So I was highly imagining, you know, when, when Cloud's following Tifa, and believing that she's not real, and then he, he swipes at her, hits her with the hilt of the sword, forces her to yeet herself in. I really thought, I was expecting a massive down spiral in their relationship. Tifa would be scared of Cloud, I it would do some real damage. But instead, obviously she goes to live stream and she comes out and she goes completely the other way. She has full um, like empathy for Cloud and even goes and straight up calls him a hero. Now obviously in the a part of that it's going to be because she saw what Cloud did as a kid, right? They lied and said that Cloud egged them on basically bitched out of there and then she saw the truth of that sure there's that but i also think i also think was there any chance that when tifa went in the live stream you know all of their uh all right the dude's about to come back through the house hold that thought <laughs> he's coming back the mr man should I give him a tip? Do you give poor guys tips? <clears throat> Thank you so much. Have a good day. Do I? Do I? I don't know. Maybe I should. Ah, I don't know. Was I supposed to tip the poor man? I never thought about tipping before. Now I went to America, and now it's got me self-conscious about tipping. Bloody hell, America! Where the hell am I going? No, what am I doing back down here? Oh God! Okay, the the, the hell of Gongaga is beginning to show its full ass to me. <laughs> but wait, let me let me finish that thought. So obviously they all have their entire compilation lifetimes within them, right? The characters have them in there, repressed, locked away, um, not fully accessible to them. But we've obviously seen moments where it, it comes out, it, it, it emerges to the surface, and it usually happens, obviously, if there's something that's happening with the live stream, something crazy going on, um, you know, for example, Final Whisper, an actual like, memory coming into the brain. Their memories are live stream. So Tifa going in the memory, I feel like obviously not only did she revisit her own memories, but potentially she got a little bit connected more to full compilation Tifa rather than this one, you know. And the reason why I say that is not only did she come out and she had that like plainness cloud for what she did, but then she leaned in for the kiss, the smoochy woochie. That got interrupted by Kate and Yuffie. Now, the Tifa at this part, you know, and in OG, but specifically also in this part, 
She ain't at that stage. She ain't at that confidence levels to be leaning in. No, we've definitely seen them get a bit flirty when she put her hand in uh, Tifa's. Tifa put her hand in clouds at the Golden Saucer. But the fact that it felt so natural and normal to her to go for a kiss at that point, I feel like, because of course, compilation Tifa and Cloud, they've been an item, they've been a couple. That's what the Ultimania finally leads it off on. Like Cloud and Tifa hook up and become a regular family unit. So I feel like when she came out, it just felt normal for her to, to go for that. So, yeah, that's kind of how I'm seeing that. Obviously what's going to give more to that is to see how Tifa now progresses from this point. Kind of damn all she she carries. Yeah, this guy's weak too far. Let's fuck him up. Let's do the old shloom shloom schlobbity slam. Oh my god, look at that. That's how you deal with the lethal haze. Just get air with him. I know in Korea it's rude to death. Yeah, it's pretty much that way in Japan as well. I think less so. I think Vietnam is also... I think it's even further there. Like a manager will actually feel insulted because to tip their staff is to, impl to imply that you don't pay them enough or something. <laughs> She does seem different from this point. Yeah, I mean, I've not obviously seen much past this point, but I think it would be nice if going in the live stream gave Tifa a little bit of a, a soul upgrade. Because that's kind of what I want by the end um, of this trilogy. I want the characters to be fully um, and do you think this will happen? I think it will, but what do you guys think? That at some point the crew will access everything and that the crew at the end of this whole trilogy will be ones that have gained the full knowledge of their entire lives. I mean, the only thing, the problem with that is would that mess them up? Like if you know your whole lifespan, if you have all the memories and the knowledge and yeah, all of your life experience given to you in the immediate here and now, what kind of effect that could have? I could be positive, it also could be negative and kind of unnatural. Ah, oh. oh. But also, it depends on how much of their life they would get. When did Sephiroth come back? When do you guys think Sephiroth came back? Do you think A, shortly after Advent Children, B, at the end of Cloud's lifespan, or 3, he's been... he came back from fucking centuries, like even post 500 year time skip or or before post 500 year time skip i mean it's curious isn't it like og leaves it off that yeah. og leaves it off with the planet healed right it has read over midgar and we're supposed to take away from that that the planet has healed but at that 500 year point with red, is Genova still in the live stream? Is she still in there? Because obviously she's never been fully purged from it. Now OG, and this is where there's a difference between OG logic and Advent Children logic. Not only has OG logic played that potentially everyone died and humanity got yeeted, but OG plays it that, you know, when Cloud goes in the live stream and fights Sephiroth, are we supposed to believe by OG logic that that yeeted Sephiroth and Genova from the live stream? But obviously by Advent Children, she's still in there. So if you now put that continuity in place, 
read at the Canyon 500 Years in the Future Healed Planet, <clears throat> Advent Children Genova still in there will never be just a memory. When does Genova get deleted? Is the remake going to address that? Because I, I would assume this remake is going to completely yeet them out, right? There's no way. No, Kitase has said he wants this game to be wrapped up, finished, the story to actually be like completed, completed. That that has to mean Genova gone gone, right? So when does that happen? Uh, I wonder if it's because she's scared of what's happening to Cloud and trying to take him away. Uh, <clears throat> You know what would have been cool after T4 into live stream? What if all her material leveled up? You'd be so upset if you had trash T4 material on. <laughs> or you had empty slots and then found that out after. That'd be soul crushing. Well, I'm just gonna kill these guys with Aerith. Look at that dodge, look at that dodge. All right, let's get Arcane Ward and do the juice. Oh man, these aspects hit so hard when they land. Oh god. Oh! 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 Man, these guys can get fucking spicy. Ah! Ah! Nah! Nah, man. Let's get the doppelganger out. Nice. Double art of war. Let's go. Let's go for it. Nothing can stop the doppelgangers. Have I uh, got prime mode yet? Don't know if I've mastered this weapon on Claude. Man, Aerith gets yeeted. No, no wonder she dies to Sephiroth. You bloody unsavable girl. Can't fucking save you if I wanted to. And that's why it makes no sense for Aerith to survive. Ah, oh, nice. Got me, can use my crystal sword. Sad amount of material slots on this thing. Like, truly heinous. What was this? This was a 280B attack, right? Oh, yeah, for the big stagger slap. Cool. Uh. I'm going to have red, put red back in, and we might as well get... Oh, Vulcan Cannon's done now. Alright, sweet. Let's stick red in the party. Yeah. Oh god, red's low. Ooh. Ooh. Didn't you fight the final Genova, so it uh, wasn't it defeated then? By OG logic, yes. But obviously she remains around in... Um, Advent Children. Now, I personally do have the logic that, um, and I think they've actually said that themselves, that Advent Children basically circumvents OG logic. You could say it's just one deviation of the story that the directors opened up purely for the sake of creating Advent Children. And that's not to say it's not canon, it's weird. I, I think the logic with Square Enix making it, because again, still some of the developers to this day, when they've had chats about the ending in interviews, some of them still go by the logic that everyone died at the end of OG. Um, so it's like Advent Children was a play on one interpretation. But it is canon. But it's still interpreted. 
if that makes any sense. And that's just one I'm curious which, uh, man, I guess I've got a mushroom up to freaking everything. Oh God, they're so confusing. <laughs> the weapons level up so they get more material slots. That's why I've got to do weapon improvements. Let's get a stagger and see how much damage we can put in these forms. Take over. Get the stagger. Let's go, Clod. Ah, oh, they've done too much damage already. Infinity's end. Mm. Oh yeah, we had this in OG. Oh, in base remake. It's just the big, the big smacker. Oh shit, killed the other one as well. You? Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> Woodland Moogle. Oh. <laughs> Moogles torturing my psyche. Moogles are the next Sephiroth to me. Uh -uh. I, I'm just playing it in my head. Mog, you know Mog in OG, is a happy little fella. He just wanted to coupo nut all over his girlfriend, and that was his whole arc. The Moogles in this, I think, are some sort of memory clone deviation, uh, and the Moogles in this are evil. They're villains. Big villains we've had in Final Fantasy VII, Fajito, Genesis, Sviet, Sephiroth, Genova, these fucking Moogles. Let's see what we've got. Normal two here. Obviously normal two here. Patronize me! Oh, Shelby! Please I don't know if I've missed you. For me, Koopo. Toodaloo! Alright, clock is ticking. Oh my god. There's a time limit on it now. But, mischief level five. Strap in, guys. This is going to be scrump scrumptious. Right, that's the tornado. Right. Can I push him through the barrier? Oh no, that's one hit. It's already a hit. Oh, you are some. Go, push him that way. Push him that way. Push him that way. That's it, let's go. Wait, where am I taking him to? Where's the Koopo house? Oh, well, can I jump these barriers? No, I can't. Ah, ah, one more hit and I'm out. So I can master this. Three minutes. Oh god, that's not a lot of time, is it? I'm gonna take you over the bridge. I don't know if putting them in the tornadoes is faster because Cloud is so fucking slow carrying them. No, you little Moogle. Ah, the Moogle Mafia. Over the bridge. Over the bridge with you, you rotten beast. Right, yeah, alright, so the Moogles can go over it. Alright, that's one. Come on. Wipe or no wipe, guys. Cast your votes now. We'll see who the true believers are versus the imposters. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, that's fine. Mosh. Let's get him quick, he's gonna hit me straight in the face. No! No! Ah! Get him in! Mosh! Are you joking? Fucking mosh! Mosh! <laughs> okay, come on. Get in! He's still not in! 
Freak! Freak! Mosh! Wait, wait, wait. I'm not out? I thought it was two hit limit. Oh god, I'm still in. I don't know how. I've got two pawns though. How am I supposed to get this fucker? He's floated out to sea! Oh, I'll go down the ramp. I don't have a choice, do I? Okay, stay calm. <laughs> right, let's get the worst ones first. This guy's definitely the worst. Moala. That one, big bridge. <laughs> no, don't go over there. Ah, Moala. Moana, you in the fucking nose. Right, let's go. That's it. That's it, we got him. Alright, I guess I'll pick you up. I guess that's happening. L2. L2 Cloud! Move, man! Move! <laughs> Wasting my time. Alright, that's one. <laughs> <laughs> Right, clean. That was a clean Moogle gather. Alright, let's get Banana Boy. Sweet. Sweet. Oh, no. No. <laughs> One more hit and I'm out. Right, Mosh is... Uh, Probably the hardest. Right, he just hits you straight on in the face. And he sends a lot of attacks. Oh no, Mosh is going to get me! Yes! Yes, we've got two minutes on the clock. Who have we got left? Right, Malulu. What does Malulu do do? Right, just uh, explosive barrages. We'll take you the bridge route, Milulu. No, he's gone over the bridge! You fucked! Milulu, no! How am I supposed to get Milulu from there? Oh, Milulu! <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Come on. Milulu! Oh, right, right, right. That's it. Yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, right, you can swim the river. I didn't know that. Come on. Oh. Oh, why did Malulu go that way? Yeah! Saber, Koopo. Yes! See. Victory! <sighs> Freaking look at the size that squeeze on the and Mag established the very first Mughal Emporium way back when. Their seven children went on to open up branches all over the world, Kubo. Oh, I wish my Mooglets would take a page out of their book. Why is this uh, Mughal... Why is he trying to enterprise? What's this Mughal's goal? We got another Rin situation on our hands? Or what if Rin, his soul, has come into this universe and it's come into this Moogle, this or this form? Because again, Rin is Rin from Final Fantasy X. He's the entire reason this game is happening. Rin made all of the events in Ten, Ten Two happen, and he made them happen in here. And he was he was a little entrepreneurial, trying to set up stores everywhere, fiend. Theory. Mog is Rin. Reincarnated. Sounds like a joke, but it could it could be true. I've got nothing I really want to buy. I mean I guess just more folios. We like folios. Feel free to take 
I remember your ring is all my bad guy theory bit. So it's syntax. I wouldn't say it's even a theory, I'll say it's just goddamn fact. <clears throat> Bree was so doubtful of that theory. I kept saying it and she kept looking at me weird. I was like, what? She said, I've heard you say this Rin thing before, but I, I don't remember any of that. I was like, oh, it, it's a thing. And she was like, no, no. I was like, no, you and the gang, they straight up expose him and they call him an arsehole. And she's like, no, that doesn't happen. You're making that up. So I showed her the scene where Rin's like, yeah, I killed a bunch of people and I'll do it again. Um, showed her the scene of him funding Shinra and saying, yeah, I want to take spirit energy and turn it into electrical power. And then she was like, Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh my god. Rin is actually the villain of everything. <laughs> I also remember your top 10 hottest girls. Yeah, I was, I was, I was going through a stage. Right, why am I trying to peck? I should be sniffing. Who did I pick? I think I put Jill Nabat on the list, because come on. Because I, I, come on. Oh, I am in a Hanahuru from Type Zero because, like, 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 come on, come on. Who else was on my list? Did I put Sarah on there? I uh, straight up may have done. I know a lot of people think that. What was her name? Um, the Thirteen. Uh, Chick. Lelouch, Labouche, Louche, La, um, ah, what was her name? She was, she was part of Snow's gang. Can't remember her name. A lot of people think she's hot. Pretty sure her name wasn't Labouche. I don't know how to get here. Well, maybe there's a bridge here. No, that's secret gin. Here? All right, let me mark here. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna find the bridge that crosses you over. <coughs> Drop here. All right, going that way. Right. Well, this mushroom is taking me up here for a reason. Let's follow. Ah, here we go. Let's follow Chunky Boy. Ah, oh, he's leading us into a gangbanger's alley. He's trying to get us gangbanged. Oh, nice, nice. How the fuck did you all forget Lulu? I mean, yeah, I mean, Lulu... Lulu is rather... She's Lulu. Fang, I don't know if Fang's hot, oh. I didn't get that, I just got that ass. I guess he is. Oh, Rydia. I never got round to my top 10 dudes. I need to do my dudes vid. Who's the hottest guys? So I mean, obviously Sid in 14, for an old dude, uh, he's, he's, pretty, he's pretty, pretty good looking, right? He's pretty good looking. Um, you know, Balthia could have his way with me any day of the week. Um, Two prongs of salt. There we go. Velociraptors detected nearby. Commencing guidance protocol. Farmers have long employed the Velociraptors as a source of agricultural labor. Velociraptors. The beasts' numbers have dwindled over time. Interrupt an enemy while they're using concentrate. The Naga reactor accident. The few remaining Velociraptors. Wow. 
Oh, oh, okay. Wait, is this like a sub reactor? What is this? Or sub part of the reactor? Oh, let's just kill the Molossus. Oh, look at him. He's so sleepy. He doesn't. I don't want to fight you, Molossus. Wait, where's Cloud's Assess? Where is Assess? Where is Assess? It's gone because I have a new weapon. Fuck. Damn it. I don't have Assess. No. No, I'm right, so the pressure only comes up for a very small amount of time. What might he be weak to? Might be weak to ice. I feel like there's a good chance of that. I've got to get the pressure as soon as it shows up. It only appears for a small amount of time. Oh, very small amount of time. Concentrate. Oh, I've got to drop all the juices. How do I interrupt it then? There we go. Oh, I did it. Nice. Alright, let's build up for an Infinity Zen then. See how powerful this is. Very nice. Heal the team. Watch his rest by. Barsh? Barsh von Bootyberg is hot. Oren? Reno. Uh, Re 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 Reno's pretty, uh, pretty good looking fella. Cloud, like, like Zach's a good, Zach's a handsome fella. I, I can't really get that for Cloud. Uh, Cloud just comes across as too twinky for me. The internet has ruined me with too many, like, inappropriate twinky, like, pictures of Cloud. His little twink body and his all around too twinky. I like my men macho. Fungi Forest Tower. Excavation Mako Laden can Cannon or Canyon? Canyon. Oh, is that the end of this area? It's kind of cool. Wherefore art I goeth? Wherefore art I go? Wherefore art I my going? I do not fucking know. Rufus is definitely number one. Rufus is, is too dead in the eyes. I want to be the one to take the life from my twink's eyes. Not one that's already... <laughs> right, so there's a jumping mushroom. There's a... There's, there's, there's a jump... There's a, a jump mushroom over there, but how do I get up to that jump mushroom? Help me! Help! I don't know where I'm going! It's... There's no earthly way of knowing which way in Gongaga I am going! Nuji Wuji. No, no, not Nuji Wuji. <laughs> oh, Nuji Wuji. Oh, maybe there's a jump mushroom over here. Ah, oh, Miss Lou. Yes, I know there, there's a jump mushroom here, you fucks. I fucking know. Right, right. Okay, there. Now to here. Yes, yes. And now there's a secret jump mushroom hidden. Hidden. The secret mushroom is hidden.
Okay, here. Here it is. This is the one. What's that? No! No, not down here! Oh, wait, yeah, no, no, around here. Now the mushroom here takes me perfectly to where I want to be. It's been here the whole time. Yes. Yes, I've done it. Ha ha ha! I figured it out. I figured it out. I figured it out. I figured it out. Nice. Yes, that takes me over here. Which then... This one then bounces me over. Gonna have a, I'm gonna have a fucking panic attack. I'm gonna have a panic attack. I gotta get up on that remnant wave tower, my dudes, right? Anyone feel like up that tower? Yes, I fucking well do! Right, this, this, the, that, it, it, but, but that, that mushroom there. But to get that mushroom, I've gotta go over that bridge. Just go over that bridge, I've gotta go. Up here. The, Mo the Moogles are taunting me. You know this landscape. Just guide me. Where's a Zach Fair when you need one? I need a hero. I'm holding out for a hero to navigate me. Found these mushrooms. And he's got have black hair and he's got uh, have squats. Come on. Right, okay, this is this is looking good. I've not been here before. No, I definitely have been here before. Right, but instead, this time I'm looking for a bridge. There, that bridge. And that Mako. They, they, that's where I want to be. Over here. Okay, I think it's definitely up here, because then that takes me to the higher plateau. And then... Ah, uh, see, this was the mistake I was making, guys. I was... Allowing the tr terrain to deceive me, because what you do instead is you go up here... You do a sharp left... And you... Hit a dead end. Right down here? Maybe down here, weirdly. <gasps> kind of, maybe. Oh, well, this isn't where I was planning to go, but this is all very cool. I'm actually starting to sweat. I'm sweating. Oh god. Might just dismount. These shoulder bones are just headbutting walls. <laughs> I'm gonna end up taking Sis May's chocobos back with concussion. Oh, okay, well we've got eight hours. Oh, yeah. Keep it together. Boom! Before they could even replicate. Very nice. Oh, there's a rope up there. I might just... I must say bugger off the Cosmo Canyon, but I just saw the stream time. <laughs> Wait. This isn't even how you get on top of this reactor. There isn't even a ladder up. There's a jump point somewhere. Ugh. Oh. oh, this is giving me a stroke. Let's switch it up. Follow my Oh, 
Ouais, putain. Oh, we there, yeah? Yes! Yes! Ah, oh, yes! Here we go. It's this sneaky climb rope here. Wow, Squanix decided to be real, real butt cheeses when they developed this one. <laughs> Square Enix! Right. I don't think that's going to calm me down. So if I go on Farm Fantasy, I click on News, I'll see something juicy. Ah, uh, here we go. What about this? Well, that's not good. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth underperforming, say, industry analysts. It's selling about half of what remake sold in the same time frame. Have we had, have we had worldwide sales yet? Is that based on just Japanese sales? Because that's silly otherwise, but let's go. Not to be that guy, but Rebirth is underperforming sales-wise. I've already spoken about this. Um, base numbers and my take on it. But when asked to justify his statement, Ahmed said it's selling about half what Remake sold in the same time frame. And it looks like it'll have a weaker tail. A tail end sells? I don't agree with that. I don't agree with the tail end comment. Uh, when pressed for source... Ah, yeah, I would like to know the source. Ahmed confirmed that the sales data comes from Equity's research reports, who are getting the data from the usual trackers. What does that mean? Equities research reports. Right, there's actually a uh, Twitter thread on this. I wonder if we follow this. What are, e what are Equities research reports? Is that just like their FIS Square Enix's fiscal numbers? What do they look like? They're so vague. Um, I, I don't... Mm. It's all very vague. Ed described Seven Rebirth as an overstuffed but lovable reimagining. I'll overstuff your mum. Sorry, Ed, I don't mean that. Overstuffed? Overstuffed. God damn. God damn. Overstuffed? Right. We can do something with the chokies here. What is this? What is this? Oh, that a bit of swagalicious. Nice. Right, how do I... I gotta climb down? Can my token climb down? Oh, well not. Sick. Should have probably explored the rest of the area before I came here. Rebirth is better than part one. Hundred percent. Absolutely. Some people prefer the more uh, story condensed uh, uh, stuff. Pacing of the first part. But honestly, overstuffed, that, that's just an unacceptable uh, complaint to me, in my opinion. Because again, optional content is optional. You can't take something that's optional. And complain. If you want us to do a skim run, do a skim run. Wow, this is cool. Oh, whoa. oh, look at all this overstuffed nonsense. Oh, so overstuffed. Oh, all this rich world design and immersive world building. Oh, oh it's so, so overstuffed. Oh, oh, the music's. I don't think I've got to the part of this song with my headphones in where I could hear this choir. Ah, no! Ah, oh, the fog interrupted it. You will die first. You will die first! Fucker! 
I was enjoying that. Oh, there's another bus stop somewhere. And this is cool. So what what are we looking at right now? What ru what ruins are these? Is this uh What ruins are these? What is this area even called? What is any of this? Oh my my brain just sort of derped out. And I was just like running through, I was like, oh so cool, some ancient ruins, but Is this like some sort of extension of some sort of... Because obviously the Temple of the Ancients ain't far away, right? It just... Is it an ancient Cetra? Just town? Well, I mean, that's kind of cool, because what we're seeing a lot of, right, is uh, that Shinra... A lot of Shinra buildings are happening happening in the same place that Cetra built stuff. So obviously the Cetra would have found parts of the planet that were most condensed in life energy and built their monuments around it. Because yeah, we saw the Stonehenge uh, thing that Cetra built was where Midgar was. Oh, damn. This is so cool. This is like the kind of song you get at the end of like some great majestic African theatre musical performance. And the world has been restored. And the choir comes out as the sun rises. And gorgeous backdrops illuminate the stage. And the kids come out. And there's joy and there's hope for the future. Ah! Fuck this music, this game. This game is overstuffed nonsense. Right. Here we go, we may have another article giving us a bit more context. This loud of the shareholders in the back. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth producers part three may be finished within just three years because the dev team hasn't been split up. Within just three years. Oh, my dudes, I thought it was going to be at least waiting for another four years. It was four, four and a smidgen years, right? Like four and a half between base remake and rebirth. Oh. So yeah, the Ultimania has launched What's all this? Wait, why have I got notes? What are these notes for? Is this a quest? Oh, bollocks, you're not gonna actually make me hunt this, are you? Oh no, oh that's the oh god, I can't, I can't. Take those notes down. That makes me sick. So uh yeah, the Japanese Ultimania came out. According to Atai, Japan CEO and reliable translator Audrey on Twitter, who's been going through Ultimania showing all sorts of fascinating snippets. They're saying that the third part of the Seven Remake trilogy is already complete. Reportedly, Rebirth co-director Nomura thinks that voice recording for the next RPG might start soon. Elsewhere, Rebirth uh, director Yoshinori Katase spoke about a few things, how fast the trilogy's second installment was made. Although we did almost wait four years, Rebirth was apparently finished within three years, and one year went towards the remake DLC. Oh. So episode Yuffie's was a year. Interesting. So do you think they're saying with that, that if it took three years to basically make Rebirth, and that part three is going to be coming, does that mean we're probably not getting a DLC between this and Rebirth? No, we're going to get episode Sid, or episode Vin Vincente. Do you guys prefer them just to go straight on to part three and, and bring out Rebirth a year earlier? Uh, or part three a year earlier? Or would you still like a DLC? I 
mean, yeah, if DLC means waiting an extra year, then I would just say get part three out. But I do like a nice little bit of DLC. Because we get that sooner, so. I don't know. So the Lion King stage play. Yeah, if I'm honest with you, Genetic, that's exactly what I had in my mind with that song. <laughs> it was the Lion King musical. I enjoyed it, except for that Scar was exceptionally camp. The Scar, in my performance, um, it was like this. So <laughs> Simba. Although saying that Scar, even in the film, he was a little bit camp. Scar is gay theory? Gar was a little bit cow. <laughs> but he was also menacing in the film. The one on the stage play that I watched, he just was not menacing. That's kind of the problem. Not because he's cat. <laughs> Just to be clear. Were you up against Jeremy Irons? Was he the guy who voiced Scar? Because I heard in the movie, um, when he does that line, uh, even you can't be caught unawares. I think when he does the really menacing you, I think he blew his voice out for a week. Like he actually damaged his vocal cords and was out of commission. Or what's left of it. Yeah, it's Cause he went that hard. Better days. You can say that again. It's more crater than runway. Are you kidding me? So we came here for nothing? So, oh man, this is taking me back onto the main story. What do I do guys? Press on? Yeah, no. Maybe not. Let's see, let's see. We're, we're in it now. A Republic telephone booth, eh? What a wee look. Well, let's go have a wee look then. Well, okay. Yeah, th th this is more like an airstrip. So when Red said the chicken went towards the airstrip, what was that about? Let's collect as much succulent berries as we can. I'm going to get an airstrip. Okay, cool. Uh, let me just see. Have I got any new transmutes? Got a few. Yeah, let's do these. Wow. Whoa, look at the tier of slots on witches' armlets. Holy hell, that's magic and good. Yee! A reinforced bright on mixture of metals. Wow, well, two witches' armlets. Damn, which is almost nice. They nice. Alright. Well, obviously, let's give one to the witch. She's a witch! Damn, that's nice. <laughs> that's very nice. Uh, now, what have I not got on? Uh, just on level binding, I might use it one day. Um, yeah, um, if you got the fortification, I was pretty good. So I just have that on someone. Uh, take less damage, medium ATB boost when guarding. I mean, you do need to be guarding. I, I think, I think it's better just to go for the MP ups, right? I've so got Thunder, I've got Cure, I've got all of the elements on the area. Yeah, I need to start using them, getting these MP boosters going. <sighs> Do I really want... No, I'm going to put the other MP booster on. You want as much MP as you can with Aerith. So let's do it. You took a really long route to the airstrip. Yeah, I just I've stumbled into the story. I think Cosmo Canyon is coming. Do I press on here, guys, or do I head back out into the wilderness? Press on or wilderness? 
Obviously, I plan to complete everything, so I will come back. If we go press on, or should I save it till next stream? What say you guys? Oh, yes, yeah, Scott did have a son in the Lion King 2. I didn't mind Lion King 2. And the son gets a scar as well. And all the other uh, lines go, Deception! Disgrace! Has anyone seen the scar on his face? That was a song I like it too. I remember Exodus. It was just so cheesy. Press on. Wilderness. Next string press on. Okay, okay, okay. I might I might do the next string today. I might take a break. And come in. Can I just teach yeah, I've got a choke boat to come back here. I'm gonna quickly explore these ruins. I guess there's some sort of story juice for this oh, 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 oh. go see the chicken lady why did i not go see chicken lady she has gifts for me chicken lady i'm gonna go and punch the chicken lady go get fucked chicken lady But dude, uh, I said it before, I am not at any kind of stage of feeling like I need the quality of Rebirth enforced by the cells. Yes, would I like it, but there's a lot of people who, they get really butthurt if a game they love doesn't hit the cells. Mine, I'm no different. This is my Rebirth. This has given me more than everything I wanted, and then some, and I'm just so happy with it. And that's where I'm at. Now, obviously I want the cells, like I said before, to back that up, because if it doesn't, you know Square, they're prone to overreacting to cells shit, and what I think that they could easily do, is breaking up the team after the rebirth is completed they'll go oh look the trilogy didn't sell enough what we need to do is a company overhaul we need to do a restructuring and we need to change our entire ethos of world design game design combat design we need to go back to the drawing board come on everyone Back to the drawing board! And they'll just over... I think I've gone on the wrong side, haven't I? The, the ruins are back up there. Jump, you chokey! What? Oh my god, where am I going? I'm so lost! <laughs> I just TP over there. Oh, I went the wrong way. I'm supposed to be going up here. And that's the only thing I care about, really, because I want more games in this world design phase, style, um, and also, you know, because they always read wrong. Square Enix, the, the worst thing about them is that they, they just take the wrong lessons too many times. And I bet you they could even start reading things like overstuffed and whatnot and be like, okay, we need to do less freedom-based mini-games, side questing, exploration, the classic. Like, this has brought back the classic RPG elements I've been missing from the series. And I don't want to see them go again as soon as they've just appeared. So that would be sad times. They're going to go back to try to be Ubisoft. Exactly, man. They're going to try the old Ubisoftification fucking approach. Old Squaresoftification. Squaresoft? 
Emix. Hello, lass. How's your day going, Bree? Gongarga is an absolute labyrinth. Just trying to get trying up to, to a platform. It's like, oh, is this mushroom? Maybe it's this mushroom. This mushroom, the mission. No, 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 I love the area and this this part. You know the part with the choir. It's like proper like hope for a new dawn mix of some African like it's definitely I don't fun. want to get African vibes from it, but it's definitely fun. And music wise. Did you get the random ones, random hit of feels from Old Master Yuffie was training that dude and it was Zach's friend from Grongarga. Feels. Oh, he, gives, he brought them sad music in. And just, where's Zach? Oh. It felt it. On a different form. It's you played too much Rebirth, that's what happened to you, that you weren't feeling. You were just doing. No, I think I was just done with this area by that point. <laughs> Yeah. It's more frustrating than anything because it's just like the amount of time for me. Like, how crap do I get to this area? It yeah. happened entirely too much. Pretty much any time I needed to get anywhere, it was like two sets, pretty very two sets. Oh, I missed that. Just I've been trying to work out what these ruins are that we're walking through, but sorry, carry on. No, I didn't really have anything. Else. I thought I thought Chode Chode's Bree was giving me some juice. No, I didn't even hear what you said. I don't even remember what I said. Oh. <laughs> when, you know when people do that where they're like, oh wait, hold on, and you're in the middle of the sentence, you're just like, you forget the sentence. For a second I thought Chadley was gonna was giving me architectural info. Chadley hardly ever gives anything of substance. Oh. It's just a Is that another controller? It's right behind your computer. <laughs> We're never getting a new good FF again. Oh Astral, have faith. Have faith. Also, maybe not. <laughs> no, it's just, it's so easy, in my opinion. I, I, as to what Final Fantasy needs in the series, as well as for the new AAA main lines, I, it doesn't seem like that confusing a thing. What it needs is a solid opener, a glorious ending, a deep, nuanced, well contextualized thought provoking villain a good uh, philosophy ethos weaved into the game not too much conforming to reality because it's uh, supposed to be a high fantasy series then it also just needs a few well fleshed out mini games that can you can go and explore and spend hundreds of hours on to yeah just but the few are really, really good, where and they're kind of open-ended in how high they can scale in terms of difficulty, so that people could just go nuts on butts on with it. And then you just need to have three difficulty modes out the gate: easy, normal, and hard. Hard is ludicrous. Normal is a good challenge, and easy you have your fucking your your, your accessories, your, your Instacast accessories, and all of that stuff. And then at the end of the playthrough, you unlock serious Smackdown mode, which then has some big twist ups, um, as well as being bloody brutal. And that's all you need. There you go. Get a good romance in there. Um, and also commit to all of your stories. There we go. That's a good AAA modern mainline fun fantasy, right there. You know what I gotta say, I wonder what's going to be the downfall. If there is a downfall, it's going to be the downfall. For the tape, for the series? Just this game. Oh, for downfall of Rebirth, go on. Well, or the next game. Okay. I think it'll probably be the developers being too blocked in between two camps. Trying to satisfy people that want things to be close to the original and trying to satisfy people that are interested in this new direction that they're going. Yeah. Without ever committing to one or the other. I think they're going to be locked in 
like purgatory with the game. And I feel like that I agree. Could be what fucks the game. I agree. I don't know if you guys can hear Bree, but that's exactly where Square Enix is at. They are locked in purgatory between two different, what they've called and what they've wrongly defined as two camps of gamers, which they, they say new fans and old fans alike, and they've separated them into two very distinct different groups. New fans, what they're basically doing is they're looking at game developers who actually stayed on top of creating games in the last two decades. They're looking at them and the only reason why those games and those developers are dominating the stage is because they are pump and dumping games. Square Enix on the other hand, you stayed out of the fucking game for ages. You can't talk about old fans when there was such a ludicrously big gap between 13 and 15. An insanely large gap. 15 and 16 came really close, but there was just a vacuum where there was nothing really to keep Final Fantasy fans in the camp. So when you brought out 15 and you were like old fans and new fans alike, and you treated them as like two separate entities, that wasn't because there's some sort of difference between the two, but because of your poor development cycles. You, you misconstrued what was your poor development cycle as Oh, we have two different camps of people to appease to now. And that was just never the case. But I mean, they do. And they do have two different people to appease to. Who? Who are the two different people? Yeah, that's my point. The point was that there's people that want it to be as close to the original as possible. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. In terms of, yeah, you're, you're purists, you're like for likers. Yeah, and yeah. yeah. So it's like they're stuck trying to appease the people that don't want that much change. But it's like you've already put in things that's what you're... Well, I think, I think having so that, gonna, they've made gonna, their decision. Uh, no? Not fully. I mean, have you seen this entire game? There's not that many changes. Yeah, well, wow. but that, that within itself is the decision, right? Which is 80% faithful until... But that's the thing, is if you want to make big changes like that, they have to have some kind of reason. Well, that, that's what I agree with, but that's what I said is going to naturally happen with the story if you don't inhibit it, which is you can't, because it's, 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 like it's like a rolling ball, right? That once you push it down the hill, it's going to keep building momentum. So all of these early story changes, yes, you were able to be like elusive little goblins with it in um, the first part. Oh, it's mostly the same but with a few changes, but the changes are really big and significant. But over the course of the trilogy, those decisions are going to snowball. And if you try to keep it faithful, you're essentially trying to stop the ball, and that's going to be weird. And you've already kind of stopped the snowball in terms of, like, Aerith. You know the plot ghosts have come in, and they're uh, repressing and suppressing her, her memory and her knowledge. That's one example of a thing that you've done to try to slow the snowball. Okay, that's fine, but you know what, at some point, if you don't want it to end in a really disconnected way, you've got to let the fucking ball roll down the hill. And that's why I want the ending to be... Crazy! Crazy! I don't know. On a scale of 141, how crazy do you want the ending of this to go? How unhinged? How derailed? I'd say I'm at like 132 out of the full run. Oh, I do. I want it to be fully untethered, unleashed. I want to feel like I'm getting smacked. You want it to be concise. I want it to be some of the most convoluted bizzle that's going to leave people questioning shit. AK, okay, I can make content and make money for years to come. Well, I want it to be definitive. I don't want it to be ambiguous. Oh, shit. Was it certain XX? Oh, no. I got the X's and the squares mixed up. Circles of the square square XX. Oh. 
Because he wants 141 out of 141. Oh! <laughs> the ending is more than 141, mate. Silver wants 140.99. You want them to hold back by 0 .00, 0 0.01. <laughs> oh, I got. Moments like this, I question my intelligence as a human being. Circle, circle, square. I can't wait on that. Is this the most you've ever seen anyone fail this? So Japan sales for uh, is bad for PS5. Do you mean for the rebirth or PS5 as a whole? Because they have half the number of PS5s that they did PS4s, which ain't too bad. But the rebirth sales in Japan are really, really freaking bad. They're shoddy. They're shite. They're shocking. Um, and in terms of has the game sold badly? I don't know. We haven't had Western numbers, so I don't know what the source is for that guy talking about it, it was as if you underperforming. And were actually communicating Overall, with one another. I don't know. I know, until I see a source, but if what they're saying is true and Rebirth has sold half of the remake, that's exactly what happened <clears throat> with the trilogy, uh, with the 13 trilogy. Uh, that ended up getting to a good numbers and I think this will do even better, but yeah, half and half thing isn't... So uncommon in sequel type games <clears throat> or trilogy. Oh, man, this place is just a it's just a labyrinth. There's a fiend fight somewhere that I want to get to. Up here on the left. I'm gonna go dismount. The chokies are too too much in these confined quarters. Maddened by Mako, nice. Here we go. Pressure on enemy, second enemy. Can't remember what this guy's weak to. Oh, he's pressured. Alright. Second enemy. Oh, let's do this. Come on, can I get an Infinity's End in? Ah, oh, I didn't hit while he staggered, sad times. That's a Stardust Ray, and I've just got to kill him now. Order. Oh man, this guy's actually he's, he's strong. Earthbound? What the hell? Hang back. Oh no! Why can't I Sonic Boom? Oh, I don't know. Because I don't have the uh, <clears throat> material type on anymore. Come on, Claude. Good. <laughs> 
We've got a synergy. Fun. <laughs> nice. Finish him. He was a bit strong. <clears throat> PS5 console sales are very low. Ergo rebirth sales in Japan are poor. That was a very I know, I think Japan's sell, uh, PS4 to PS5 ratio is better than it is in most countries around the world. Like half, which I think is kind of not too bad. But if, if I'm right, it's 6 million. I think they've got 6 million PS5 consoles, which makes Rebirth selling you know, 260,000 or something Heinous. Heinous. Like FF16, people were saying the sales numbers on that were bad, but of it, but when you actually looked at it, it had the higher uh, install base of a lot of Final Fantasies. I think it metriced out that something like 7% or 6% of all console owners had Final Fantasy 16. So proportionately, it was pretty good. 260,000 of 6 million PS5 sales is disgusting. It's so so low. I can't even I can't even average that out. But what is that like four percent or something? Not good. Good. I need to keep them in I don't know how I keep them entertained. Hey. It's hot in here and I'm hungry. That's all I gotta say about that. Also, I finished the game and I have mixed feelings. Not all positive. Huh? Nothing. Oh, good. We don't all like a cup of coffee. Come there. Give us one more thing and we'll leave that, right? I hate the whole thing. I didn't have one moment of fun. Really? <laughs> don't tell lies. But it's fine. You had joy. I did. And you had too many mini games, dare I say. Don't! Don't! No! Don't, I think so. Don't you dare say that. Too many mini games. Like I was playing too many mini games and doing too much side fun. No. I think so. Oh, that's. That's giving me a run. But have you finally figured out the one score out of tennis? Have you, have you reflected on it? You've got a definitive answer. Yeah. All right, before you say it, let me see if I can guess it. Oh! Ah, oh, ah! Oh, quick! Can you get me a tissue, Ginge? Ah, oh, Ginge, quick! Ginge, why are you standing there? Hell, my penis is burning. No, it's not your fault. But you can help. You can help a man's knob. Ah, oh, that's all right now. That's not. Yeah. Well, that's close enough to my wiener. My wiener goes all the way down my thumb. <laughs> How do you know? One would know. Don't say stuff like that. This is why we're not going to be getting the review scores when we look after pubic sticks because. Problematic. You spill it. She needs to go into some etiquette training. Yeah. <laughs> the timing of the shrew. <laughs> Re retraining. You do need to be trained. You need to be rehabilitated as a human being. But you sit down. These God. are the things we need to learn. I, I think, Bree, that you are rating Rebirth 9.2. No. Lower? I think she's rating it 8.7. 
No. Lower than that. Lower than that? Yes. Yeah. I'm going to punch you. 6.9. No, not that. 7.7. 7. Not that low. 7.77. Seven, seven. You're very close. Just tell us. No, I'm like a, I'm like an 8 point, probably 8.5. 8.5. Do you guys agree or disagree? Or don't? Do you more con concur with your scores? 8.5. Like certain sections, I would say certain sections are 10 out of 10. Certain sections are like, a, you know, 2 out of 10. Like just depending on what it is that I'm doing. And all of that put together, the times where I was very happy versus very annoyed versus whatever, 8.5. Because I'm not, I'm not an ass slicker. I don't ass slick the game. I'm not like oh, Final Fantasy. I'm going to give it a ten out of ten. Hey, you know? that's really offensive to those of us who are ass slickers. Okay, be offended. Blah, 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 blah. Be offended. You're not seven. No. Seven's ass. Blah, 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 blah. You're actually not not so bad with that. Where you just blindly no, not at all praise it. No, again, I've had people tell me that I'm the worst content creator because all I do is criticize Final Fantasy XV. I've also been called a 15 bootlicker and a fanboy with no objective sense of anything. I've also had it for 16. Overhyped fanboy, can see no wrong, phrases it unduly. I've also seen people say, dude, why are you such a 16 hater? What's your problem? You clearly don't have... I, Dude, it's such a shame. I thought you had the intellect to understand, like, complex, nuanced endings. I, I, I get it both sides, because you know what? I give I give a mix of, of good and bad. said that. Mm -hmm. Well, I said that day, yeah. Mm -hmm. 100%. <clears throat> well. All I can say is I'm excited for the next one. Well, I hope my school is better than yours. Yeah. Oh, impressive showing. So impressive, in fact, that I was able to devise a new combat trial for you. And I was in charge of calibrating its difficulty level. We put a lot of thought into this, so give it a try. All right. They've got a new... They put a lot of thought into it. There's a new choke leak. Look at you. Look at that. Bree found the hotel biscuits. You know the biscuits you only get in a hotel? Found these ones. And they're always really nice and yummy. These are the ones we found I... hotel biscuits in the wild. These are the ones I picked up. Yummy, yummy. Shove that in my schmackerel, mate. These are the ones I picked up, by the way. Shove it in. You can't even hear me. It's a bit ahead. Ugh. That's what I'm What does Bree give 16? I think, if I recall, she gives it low 8s. I don't think she dipped into high 7s. I know we both felt pretty much the same way on 16. But I am very surprised by Bree being burnt out by Minigear, the side content. Because typically she can't get enough of that shit. Again, this is a girl who will still sit and play tens and hundreds of hours of Animal Crossing, even though she has nothing left to do in the game. She's maxed out on everything. So, that's kind of wild to me. Don't know how to compute that development. Where was this bird taking us? He's taking us down river. Okay. He's guiding us to the promised Ooh. land. Oh. Oh. And these cave systems are really lit. Very lit. I feel like real world, like, heavy influence has gone into this. I've seen caves like this. I've seen them. I feel like I've been in this cave. IRL.
Animal Crossing is pure side quest. Exactly. It uh, makes no sense. Lotus, we have them in the supermarkets here in Australia. I don't like them. You don't like hotel biscuits? Good news, Cloud. I've unearthed information about a particularly rare monster. Deep in the forest lurks a fiend so foul. <clears throat> uh, pardon me. So foul, the mere mention of it induces nausea. This noxious pest may be negatively impacting the biome. I suggest you expedite its removal. All right. The Sultan of Stench. Alright. I wonder what creature, man of creature that is. Um. Right, now I've hit this cave. Where does this want me to go? Out here? Hmm, splosh. Ooh, I love that live stream music. So atmospheric and pretty. Oh. Right, where the hell? I want to go over here. Does anyone know the way? Right, that'll jump me back across, which I don't want to do. I feel like the game took me down here for a reason. Is it? <laughs> Is there a way I can cross over into this area? I want to do this. I want that. How, how get? How get to? Maybe up here? I can't jump down. <clears throat> <clears throat> Uh, uh, was this a whole section just for the, the the live stream point? Is that it? Or I think I've got to go back over. I think that's what my that's my. Oh, that requires going to the airship. Oh, oh, okay, right. I do not know the way. Leave it to Frodo. Frodo Baggins. Alright, I'm gonna go do the Sultan of Spain. Whoever made this music is the fucking Sultan of Spain. Ooh. Some real stank in these tunes. I think it's down here. That's what my body tells me. Down here and then up here. No. Down here. I might as well kill these, I've not done them before. Red's gonna get stoned. Not too shabby. Oh yeah, this is it. Oh, photographer man. Oh, I'll we'll do that in a sec. Let's get the salt, salt and steam. I wonder what man of creatures is. It's some sort of bloat. Those bloat creatures. Big bloat bellies. Bloat what? What's? We've arrived at the Great Marlborough. Oh, Marlborough. Oh, yeah, yeah. That makes more sure sense. Surmise from the aroma. Olfactory risk level high. All right, shit. We've got a Marlborough fire on our hands. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. Uh, who do I want for this? Uh, Marlborough's usually. Elemental resistance? No, they're usually weak to fire, right? We'll bring Aerith into the crew. 
get some of that. We get the love triangle in. <laughs> After I enjoy, it doesn't matter how many times I hear this theme. Every time the chorus comes in, makes me want to be a better man. Makes me want to train. Makes me want to carry my allies, pay my taxes. Makes me want to aspire to more. Next morning, get into my skin suit and go running naked through a glade on a warm summer's day. Oh shit, a lizard's just come running into the house. Bloody hell, he's on a mission. <laughs> Fat old lizard like this has just come. Alright, <laughs> oh, let's engage. Oh, wrong controller. Engage enemy, let's go. Don't bring up taxes. We all love taxes. Taxes! Drachmas! Oh shit, there we go. Oh, that's a cool looking mole. Oh, there we go. Ow! Ow! That really hurt. Okay, Cloud was not ready. Oh, I still haven't put a cess on like a penis. Oh, I've got to heal him. Aerith's going to be hard carrying this, I think. Oh, I'm covered in a goo. I'm covered in goo blah goo. Oh, that's what Breach does. Fireball blade, let's have a look. Oh man, I'm really missing Sonic Boom. I'm missing so many of my good spells. Oh, fuck. Wow, the breath really extends. No way, that was a low tail. We all saw that was a low tail. Cloud! Oh, Cloud can't do it, he's a frog. Oh my god! This is. Frog Cloud's getting wrecked. No way. I just gotta get this done with their rift, yo. Straight out. Straight out. It's it. Rancid breath. That's not far reaching, is it? Well, I fell unconscious. Oh no, it's so far reaching. Oh no. What do I do? Oh no. Everything's locked up. Oh shit, it's just Aerith. No! No! Come on. Come on, give me control. Dude, why is there butterflies everywhere? Oh god, no! 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 Go, Toad Aerith! Oh my god, she's silenced for so long! I've just got to evade! Send bubble breaths! No! No! no. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Getting dark. There it is! The Veldrin trauma of yore. Oh, how long has it been? Ah, oh, felt in the hearts of every Final Fantasy fan. A dearly beloved type of wipe. Ugh. Ugh. That's kind of satisfying, actually. <laughs> That's how Mulberries are supposed to be. Mm -mm. 
Only one wipes allowed though. Take I've just got to get plowed into better, better state. No way that's still here. Dude, that still clips. Man, this mold has got so much radius on it. I think AI Aerith will deal with it. No. No. She got wrecked. Tifa's been wrecked. Oh god. Uh, keep building Aerith. Is there any way I can deal with this poison shit on me? <laughs> I should definitely have come in with this Essuna into this fight. Come on. Why am I not using the uh, spell blade? Yeah! Finity's end. Big attacks on Aerith. Is T up and running? No, she isn't. Oh no! Fetid Haze? Oh god, oh god, oh Aerith's dying! Aerith's dying! Aerith's dead. Right, uh, Tifa, are you, are you up and running again? You are. We don't need heals. Very cool. <laughs> that was a good mobile fight. Yeah. Your victory was inspiring, class. Cyclics in the house. Hey, yo. Yo. How many likes we got on the stream, guys? I suspect it will prove useful in crafting new creations. I suggest you hold on to it. Hit that like for El Clasico Mulbra butter slaps we love them i kind of wish i got one on the tombri but i kind of wrecked the tombri king i somewhat obliterated him let's get the boys in man high potions suck so much ass <laughs> all right before we leave here I'm going to do what I have never done before. I'm going to bend the knee to the photography. Out of the way, youth. Ah, oh, it's a cliff. <laughs> where am I going? Yeah. Where, where the fuck am I? I was down here. Lol. I'm 
so bad at chokey steering. Wait, can you drift on chokies? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Chokey, there was a sniff. How you been, Pez? Bloody marvellous, really. It's all pretty good. I've only got a week left here in Bali. And then begins my Australia tour. Now I'm very excited. Go uh, have some dogs to look after. I'm uh, hoping to make loads of cool rebirth content, talking about seven from all the different angles that I know for a fact other YouTubers will be missing. Uh, give me POVs and just sharing some of the. Uh, Share some of the love. I'm just hoping by the point that I'm done, some people uh, it's like rebirth is such a distant memory to them that they're no longer juiced for it. Wait, so you go into the menu, right? Oh, wow. Right. Scenic spot. Right, there you go, take the snap. How'd you take it? I've done it, right? Say it. Give a shit. <laughs> Where bats are stray, you're heading. Uh, I'm going to Brisbane. Mostly in Brisbane. Uh, then heading south. Then uh, I'm going to a place called Rangiora near Christchurch in New Zealand. And then I'm thinking I might come back for another month to Australia. So I have a thing in like, Sydney. Well, actually, I had an opportunity to stay in central Melbourne. So one of those. And then get my butt to Jeju Island. Live on Jeju Island for uh, a nice amount of time. That's uh, South Korea. South of South Korea. Jeju Island. Um, right, so that's pretty much all of that I still haven't activated these bloody towers I don't know how to get through here uh, but that's more or less everything done with three and a half hours into the stream I might have to leave it there does anyone know how, 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 how I get up here I mean there's all that reactive business wait is it just a straight run up here Oh, it is just a straight run, isn't it? Just from there, up there. Uh, so this way. No, see, we're back in the, we're back in the hellish jungles. I can do this. Right, out here and up here. Jeju is like Korea's Okinawa. Yeah, basically. Yeah, I missed out. I, I might pop to Japan actually. I'm kind of kind of juiced to go back. And I have actually been wanting to visit Okinawa. I don't know what it's going to be like from the mainland, but a lot of these islands always... They always have a different twist on the culture. Uh, I like to see Japan with a... With a different twist. Is that not a tower? I don't know what is. I know it's a tower. We all know it's a tower. You bastard cat. But how does one get to the tower? Please, can somebody just tell me? Just tell me in the comment section. Please, back, back, backseat game me. Backseat game the shit out of me. Or you could not tell me and let me suffer more. Right, I've been up here. I've been up here before. That just leads out the back over the mountain. So that ain't gonna take that ain't gonna take me up here. 
Ah, my headphone just died. They apparently speak a weird dialect. I think I'm playing Stellar Blade when it comes out. I mean, it's very exciting. It's got a lot of hype. So, I think I may. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm vibing, it's like Korean near Automata. Maybe it'll be on near Automata levels of quality and good. It's more south the mushroom. Yeah, so I know the mushroom because I can see the munch, mu the, the, mu the munch room. I can see the jump pad from there, but I've got to get to it, which means I've got to get over that bridge. Maybe I can. Wait, has this been it the whole time? Could I just swim across? My brain still isn't configured. That you can just swim across things for some reason. Water is an invisible barrier that cannot be crossed. Oh, what a dinkus. <laughs> Alright, yeah, there it is. As easy as that. Go quickly get the owl. Eyes it, Well, there's a jump pad there. No, get off me, chocobo. Alright, so there's two jumping points from here. <coughs> Ah, I flip up all these goodies, but not in no no. How many Final Fantasy characters can jump on command? Noctus. Lightning returns lightning. Wait, did, could Lightning Returns Lightning just jump on command? Actually, I don't think she could. I think she could only do wall jumps. Wait. Is Noctis the only person? Because Clive... Well, Clive could as well. What am I talking about? Clive had his little dump jump, didn't he? Did he? No, he didn't. He did. He did. Did, did Steve? Why can't I remember if, Cl if Clive could fucking jump or not? No and Sarah could. Could they? I think you might be right there. Are those the only three? Not just No and Sarah. <laughs> right, over to the Remnant. Finally. God, you guys, you guys straight up just let me suffer. I've got lethal heals. Take Am I doing damage? Am I doing things? Oh, shit! Oh! Oh, that fortune tell was brutal! This one was fire! Hey, uh -huh. Are you kidding me? 
Are you kidding me? Oh, okay. No, I can climb the rope. For, sorry, for a split second there, I thought that was only the come. There's some poles you can only come down. That's a rope. For a minute there, I thought that was not. <laughs> but you had to get onto the jump pad somewhere for the remnant. Okay, it's just a very tall rope climb. I nearly pooped. God, that made my heart skip. I thought Square were being extra sadistic on top of what they're already being. <laughs> I thought for a second I couldn't get onto the tower. <laughs> uh, where's the bloody monitor? Is it down here? Oh, my neck hurts. After how much you made me struggle to get that remnant wave tower, um, there's a part of me that kind of wishes that remnant wave tower was actually just a big like gasoline fire station and we just burn Gongarga down to the ground. Yeah, full-blown sepia rofe. Burn it all. Wait, right, so I can, I can just get up there. We've got a straight run up there. That seems like an easy path. Is it? Is the game tricking me? That looks too straightforward. Wait, what? Oh, just straight this way? Nice. Why do I feel like I'm being tricked? Get your sniffer snooting. This game is so beautiful, man, I can't get enough of it. How many hours have you clocked, dudes? Dudettes? And who here is no longer playing Reaper and you moved on to something else? What are you all playing, you fiends? Let's just kill this thing fast. We'll rip, can rip, okay? If I learn Infinity Zen now... Ooh. Where's all this? This looks a lot like where the Vincent showed up. Where Vincent, Genesis, at the end of Dirge Cerberus. Weiss was dead there. Jenny picked him up. We have more to do, brother. I kind of want Genesis in the game, but not really. But maybe I don't know now. Game is so fat, so fat. Dangerous things may be in the vicinity. Exercise caution. Rare Gadi Gandhi variant detected. Commencing guidance protocol. Known best for its distinct fangs. Like it's crazy what I've experienced in this Gongaga region. They had that entire like little cool, intricate, nicely, beautifully designed and and lit up cave system just for the live stream conduit. Now this, this, this cool little region just for this one world intel fight. Look at it. So cool. So cool. Right, let's kill these guys. Pressure and stagger. Easy.
Wow, when they're ambushing, you want to hit them? Don't overdo it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this with Kate Sith. Let's just roll the dice and prone. Ah, I'm not going to get the stagger. Come on. Go! Ow! I'm not bringing the Moogle out enough. Try to nee. so bad with the Moogle, so confusing. So I build up drop kick energy. Now fight. To so just you gotta get drop kick smacks and normal attacks to build that drop kick bar, and then you get fight. And it, oh, there's something juicy. Like we've amassed a considerable amount of data on the fiends within the Gungaga region. On Chappie's behalf, allow me to express my gratitude. My, I Anything for you, my. not put words in my mouth. Oh, but I am grateful, of course. Okay, and Chadley. Truly, I have made a new combat trial so may. you may test your might. Chadley. Any gift, I should think. May. Chadley. I hate you, Chatley. Oh, I really hate you. <laughs> it's just fun to hate on Chatley. No spoilers for any characters that aren't in the game yet. But who's your least favorite character in the game? Not just the main team, you can pick anyone. Any character in the game. Who's my least name? See, uh, maybe it was Roche, but you know what, after that Colosseum section... You know what, Roche? Alright, alright. I'm, I'm gonna give you the time of day. Madam M is a bit of a bumhole. She's not a bad character, she's just a bumhole. Oh, oats. Yeah, oats. Fuck oats. Oats could get disemboweled and I'll be fine with it. Let's go. Right, where am I going? Some world intel up here. <laughs> how, how do I get out there? Back out. You hate my the most. Oh. Kate's in. Hojo. Ah, oh, see, but Hojo. The problem is, if you hate Hojo that much, that just means he's doing his his character a good, good job. You're supposed to hate him. So... Hojo don't count. Dude, Congarga is just wild. The layout is 
is merciless. Absolutely ruthless. Well, let's go up here. Oh my god, what's all this? Another Shinra base. Oh, we've got to get that triple strike in nice and fast. I'm going to do sick moving combos. Well, if I press let's ride again. Oh, damn! That's what the Moogle doing fortune telling looks like. Ooh. <laughs> That's cool. That's very cool. Gong ga ga. Gong ga ga. That's what I think the kids are saying. I don't really know. Feels like there's gonna be some sort of side quest here. I'm here too early. Keep it together. <laughs> I thought I'd be safe. I was not. Oh, nice. Good job, Barrett. Woo! Yeah, I think something else is supposed to occur here. Is this where the proto relic is? I am starving for the more Fort Condor, man. Starving. Look, it's keeping him juggled. <laughs> oh shit! That's how you use them. Damn. Can I throw two dice? Oh, I can throw two dice. Oh. Kaysith is a monster. That was beautiful! Oh, I'm a stagger bouncing pressure juggling with his tooty horn and the double dice rolls. Oh. oh. Training facility VB. Ah, wait a second. Security is still active, but I should be able to disable it remotely. One moment. This appears to be a Shinra training facility. Shinra training facility. One of several in the region. Okay, oh, here okay. in Gungaga? That's news to me. The official records were curated to remove all mention of them some time ago. Yeah. They were last used by General Affairs Auditing. The Turks. I've created fake IDs for all of you. Now, shall we see what awaits us inside? Little, little sneaky Turk headquarter. Or an old one. Please, let's have re we're going to walk in there, the Reno is going to be kicked back on a couch with a, with a Mr. Whippy ice cream. He's going to look over his shoulder, like, bruh, bruh. Reno is waiting for us inside. I believe, oh snap. What the hell have I just wandered onto? Yo! What the hell's all this? 
you well know, our duties often require that we enter into high-risk situations. Failure is tantamount to death. Even here, act as though your lives are on the line. Without further ado, I'll brief you on your mission. Calm's Bailey has been breached by armed insurgents, allowing hordes of fiends to overrun the town. Your military is on site. The enemy is utilizing the chaos to establish a foothold. Our mission is to pinpoint their leader's location and apprehend them as soon as possible. This exercise will begin as soon as you are ready. Good luck. Yo, that's juicy as hell. That is so juicy. You know those calm Vido, uh, those Vido theories that I was doing, the one where lost number, uh, the the failed clone that exists in the Nibelheim uh, basement. Well, the Nibelheim safe. That fucker is a Sephiroth clone. He was a dude, and yeah, he torments Vido with a flashback to calm, and the fight that you're doing during that is Vido is watching song in calm fighting exactly what the hologram just showed up with they're called the ravens and song was fighting those back when he was still uh under those wing so the fact that song shows up with one of those ravens talking about calm is a flash to that very significant scene where we saw our first dream weaving ability from a failed clone. That's cool. They were best, but, but that was a long time ago, so this must be an old base, I guess. So, in other words? In other words, to secure it, you need only lay waste to your simulated enemies. Nice. Nice. Yo, this is awesome. To just roll on to something like this. I'm getting that cool. I discovered something feeling. Oh, snap. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Hopefully, this is brutally difficult. Attention all units. Oh. The monster threat. oh. Oh, okay. I think it'd be really easy, probably. Turks are pussies. Oh, no way. What a dodge. What a beautiful dodge. Ah, my control is going to do it. Oh, cloud. Easy. Hopefully we get to fight Rude in a sec. Right, double dice roll. Ah, hyper beam. Did that just get cancelled? Come on, Kate. Double dice roll. Wee. Wait, did they cancel it? No, got five regenerative, two regenerative. <laughs> I'm gonna bubble you then, boy. Go, my bubble beams of death. Hey, he turned me back. Don't overdo it. Leave it to me. What does your 
Build that drop kick. Build it. Keep dropping it. What? Defense. Oh, so that just gave me a free barrel. Man, there's so much to build his. So you only build drop kick from hitting drop kick. Have I got that right? Or do I also build it from. So, okay, these attacks are here. Yo, what was... Go wild. What the hell? What is the Moogle doing? I haven't seen this yet. I haven't seen this yet. Soldier, soldier Moogle class. Mayhem go round. Oh, which one to do? Launch a range trap across a wide area. Lends its his sword to deliver fearsome slashes. The Moogle's going to use the sword. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, I'm doing mayhem go round. <laughs> They've created a world of Final Fantasy pillar. Yay! <laughs> Yo, what the hell? That was that was ludicrous. <laughs> I love this game. I fucking love this game. Do I need heals? I've not done, I've not done his limit breaks yet either. Oh, oh. Here we go. I've got a mock guy. Come on. A mega magic Moogle box or just magic? Well, we're going to go for the mega. We're going to go for the mega 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 An enormous box of tricks. Find out what's inside. Let's see what's inside, shall we? Whoa! What the? That was so powerful. Yo. Your leader is in custody. Damn it all. That was a good time. I'll escort him to HQ. Very good work today, partner. Mission complete. Holy nibs. Excellent was that gravity magic or was Your that? Jeez. Well the, field. the insurgent leader became radicalized against Shinra following an incident roughly eight years ago. He believes his home was stolen from him. There are many who hold grudges against the company. And it is our job to remove these seeds of trouble before they take root. This facility will enter power saving mode. Wait, wait, wait. Once you have retrieved your provisions, proceed to the next location. Who are they talking about? And at what time What time frame? When was this recording done? This guy believes eight years ago there was the calm fire bombings. They got eradicated, but there was... I'm trying to figure out who that guy might be. It's definitely going to be in the law somewhere. Could be when Calm got obliterated, I guess. I've made an incredible discovery. Wow, that the mm -hmm. While the image is still quite unstable, the implication is staggering. The proto relic has been digitized and stored within the simulation. Can we get it out? Without more data, I can't say for certain. Let's head to the next facility. I'll continue my analysis there. 
Next facility. Money. That was fun. That was very fun. What's this crap about removing the seeds of trouble? They really have no idea, do they? It's Shinra's own fault everyone hates them. What goes around comes around. As it should. I guess, but... The problem is that not everyone in Shinra is bad. A lot of them are actually good people. You call them good people. Well, I call them enablers. They're why Shinra keeps getting away with it. I mean, I see where you're coming from. You do, huh? Glad I could be of service. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, Yuffie's the worst kind of person to have a discussion with. The worst. I can't stand it. I, I've i actually had conversations. I'm sure you guys have had the same conversations with someone where for the purpose of having a civilized, down-to-earth, nuanced conversation about an important, very uh, complex issue, it's good faith to agree with some of the points the other person is making. But there are some people that when you do that, they go, oh, yeah, I've got you. Nice. Glad I've won. Yep. Glad I've got that conversation in the bag. Mm-hmm. Glad I educated you. I win. I win the conversation. Yay. I've had chats like that. <laughs> And then they totally neglect the part where... Uh, here's the part where you now? <laughs> I suppose they have some good faith. Bad form, Yuffie. Alright. How do I get to this next one? I enjoyed that. I said I'd only stream for three hours a day. It's now four. <laughs> oh. You'll be a full-fledged Turk if you keep out. Yay! I'm becoming a toy. A toy. Does anyone know how you get up here? Down here? Round here? <laughs> Where is one to go? Ah! Oh! Aha! Found it! No, I haven't. Ow. Keep it together. All right. Okay, Seth, my favorite in combat. Look, stagger, 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 stagger. <laughs> oh, oh, they broke the line. Case of is disgusting. We'll just go marching through them. <laughs> hmm. Wow, well, uh, I don't want a team switch. I'm having such a good time. Um I agree with Yuffie, though, they are complicit even if they just work for Shinra. The thing is, you can only, mostly, I mean actually especially in their case, operate with the information you're given. Human beings can only really act on what they know. Now, we live in an age today where, well, especially in Western culture, we have access, the capacity to have access to all information, really. Yet, people are still massively naive and ignorant. Now, imagine a world where you don't even have access to that information. AK shouldn't. They repress information, they control the news cycles. So, oh fuck, where's this taking me? No, no, no. How do I get here? So people can only act on what they know, and if they don't have 
any extra information, well then, they're just going to be following it. And it's, I mean, let's say with the whole Shinra destroying the planet thing. There's obviously no information about that. Shinra repressed that. Mako energy isn't harmful. Yada, yada, yada. We know for a fact now that we are fucking the planet up. We know that. That's just a scientific, quantifiable, data-driven, metric analyzed. Uh, all the leading scientists of the world have unanimously agreed on that detail, and yet we still act like it's. Well, maybe. Well, the climate has always changed. Well. Blah, 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 blah. So, are we all complicit? Are we all complicit right now? We continue to support big tech with our money. We continue to support big oil. Um, we continue to vote for politicians who are bought and sold by big corporations, even though we know they are. We know that's where they get their money, but we still cast our vote for them. So how, how are we not complicit? Information and understanding is different. I mean, yeah, you can obviously... Somebody with a well-balanced mind should be able to put any information they receive under scrutiny. Is that what you mean? Even though a lot of people don't put what they hear under scrutiny. They just hear it and believe it to be true because they heard it. Um, I want to do this Turk mission, but I don't know how. <laughs> Guys! People point their fingers at rich people, but it takes everyone to change. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. Right. It's kind of why I still try to ideologically be vegan, and I... <laughs> I fail on it a lot because that's another topic where I personally believe with the information and the data and the scientific research that I have looked into that we all cannot be eating meat. No, they're leaving the moral and the ethical discussion of it to one side. There's just a simple fact that the energy consumption and the damage that it does is far superior to other forms of food production. That's just a fact. So, if you continue eating largely mostly meat, how are you not complicit? Because, and I've literally seen that logic. I said, oh well, well me, me just going plant-based, that's not going to change anything. What, just one little me, one tiny little me, just... Well, yeah, that's kind of how systemic group change occurs. <laughs> With every individual participating in their tiny little way, and then all that tiny adds up to huge. Uh, yeah, it means huge impact on the environment insane amount of impact the amount of environmental destruction that occurs the amount of the land mass that is taken up by animal agriculture is wild I don't know if I'm ever gonna find this I feel like the the entrance for this is gonna be really unobvious <laughs> Help me. Help me. Scientists said the world will end if we keep up. Some say we've reached the point of no return. Well, Jinch just taught me about... Have you guys ever heard of the Doomsday Clock? I never knew about the Doomsday Clock. 
But apparently scientists have created a clock. I think they created it back in, was it like the 60s or the 70s? But it basically measures how close we are to midnight. Midnight being the end. <laughs> Doomsday. And I think when it was made, we were something like seven minutes till midnight. Then I think it went to four. Then I think it, in the 90s, it went to 13 minutes, the best it's ever been. Currently, uh, updated as of 2023, we're 90 seconds till midnight. Ninety seconds. Oh shit! Wait, is this the entrance? Oh my god! I swear, I swear to all the deities in the pantheons that reside above. If this fucking run was actually the entrance to this whole section, no, it wasn't. <laughs> okay. I kind of wish it was though. Hi. Ah. Oh. Oh, it's this. I haven't jumped off this. So, Ginge, you knew about the Doomsday Clock. Does that mean you're a Doomsday Prepper? Have you, have you been a Prepper this whole time? No, I don't have money. You don't have the money for a bunker? Nothing. Well, all you need is a shovel and, and a strong back. Dig your own bunker. Concrete. Alright, a bit of concrete. And some big gold balls. And cans of beans. Yeah. Arrival yeah. at objective confirmed. Do you want to build a doomsday bunker system. with me? You may use your fake yeah, IDs to enter we can the make facility. it look like this. In the Why in the state? Actually, I discussed it with Bree. Bree told Bree things. Right? Because we thought the apocalypse was happening the other day, right? I mean, me and Ginge were like, this is actually a pretty good country to be in if the apocalypse comes. Because mm. the people here are used to being self-sufficient. They're used to having power go down. Yeah. They're used to having you know, internet and electric cut out for a long period of time. And they le they've learned, like most poor communities do, how to operate together through hardship and strife. You know who doesn't have that capacity? Us fucking Westerners. The apocalypse goes down in the West. Shit is hitting the fan of ETA 24 hours. Yeah. I'm telling you right now, people will lose their mind because we are so, so coddled. Look how much people create fucking fear and start looting stores or buying up all the bog roll all right, in the West on like nothing. On sometimes even just hearsay, people start losing their minds. Imagine some real shit happens. Sabri so was like, no, I'd much rather be in America. America? I, America would be one of the worst places to be when the doomsday hits. You want to be in a country that has millions and millions and millions of guns all over the place and is built on first world privilege. That is a... That is a recipe for purge day. <laughs> uh, at least in the UK, you know, if you're trying to like get to a store to like loot some food, mm. you might have to go up hand to hand with some people, some fisty casts, maybe a few stabbings, yeah. But what you ain't gonna have is a bunch of fucking like hillbillies defending it with a high-powered assault rifles. <laughs> you know? Like Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Oh yeah, but she said, oh yeah, but at least you'd have a gun. It's like, again, I'd much rather go in a knife fight, like knife versus knife. Because if you've got, say, a handgun, in the United States, a handgun ain't going to get you far with some of the other shit that people are carrying, right? Let's switch it up. God, I'm getting massacred. <laughs> yes, as an American, I agree, Pets. Yeah, man, like, America's, America's great. I really enjoy it there. I'm going to be living there soon. I'm going to be living. I'm about to become an American. But let's be real. Y'all guys are real trigger happy and 
there's a good subsection of you that are just wait are oh, you just itching itching and a scritching for an opportunity to shoot someone there's a, there's a good portion of Americans I believe I don't know what percentage would you say have daydreamed about actually getting the opportunity to shoot someone oh if that home invader came into my house oh oh I'd shoot him good oh I fucking can't wait for the day I get to shoot <laughs> There, there is a percentage you cannot tell me otherwise. In your it's not all roses being vegan. Ah, sorry, balls sometimes. As a jerk in the field, you must be capable of assessing a situation and making sound judgments. Do I need assess for this? Then, what should be done with him? What should be done with him? I mean, based on what I'm assuming this guy is, he's one of the ravens from Elf's Gang, who is only upset because Shin were evil bastards that destroyed his family and town. Let him go will not be an acceptable answer. <laughs> Obviously interrogate him is the way. I want to make VR Song happy. I don't know, I can't pick. I wonder what we say if I, I'm curious what we say if I say let him go. <laughs> I see. Well there can be strategic advantages to releasing criminals. In this instance, the risks outweigh the benefits. Considering what we know of the situation, it seems unlikely that the insurgents' ultimate objective was the town's occupation. Which leaves us with some questions. Ones only our detainee can answer. Interrogate! What? Why? Oh! I'll spare you the details. Song, you ruthless! Reveal to us the truth. The attack on Palm was only intended to be a diversion. One which drew us away from their real target, Junon's weapon system. Suffice it to say, their plan worked. Consequently, they have seized control of our autonomous sentry unit. Your mission is to neutralize the mechanical threat. Best of luck to you out there. Cool. This is cool. I, I think this is all so before Crisis Story. Turned against them? <laughs> Sucks to be them. I think this is. It is a core tenet of Turk's doctrine that one must anticipate and prepare for every contingency. Yeah, they're never caught flat-footed, that's for sure. Love it, Turk Deeds. Come on, have Reno Sharp for this one. Have Reno Sharp. Be cool if we see some other Turks. Though. Put a little shotgun in there, put a little Veld in, I don't know. We had Rude last time. Nah, they ain't gonna put Reno in. But maybe they will. Does Anne still think they are good? It's not that she thinks they're good, she just knows they have good in them or the capacity for good. Enemy unit sighted. They know the rest is up to you. So this is a new recording then. This is all a new This ain't old. Eleanor just joined the turn, so. Oh man. Oh these death wounds are awesome. <laughs> Oh man. Dodge and dive, what just happened? No, these death was awesome. I'm just gonna shoot him the barret. Oh. Oh. Goo missiles. Goo missiles. Get him! Bring it on, 
Get him! Get him, Moogie! Moogenhagen! Kill him! This is hell. Take it from here. Large number of hostiles headed your way. Give them the old Turks two step. Well, I'm not gonna heal these challenges because I'm a legend. Roll of the dice! Oh no! Okay, no! Okay! <laughs> oh shit! Kate's dead! Kate's dead! So right, we still got the Moogle. The Moogle's all that matters. Oh no. No. No suppressing fire's coming. Save him. Barry, save him. Save him. Oh. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh God. Straight in with the limit break. Whoa. The big thunder. Easy. Well, you certainly showed them. Hey, tell you what, I'll report back to Summon. You and Rude should take the night off. You deserve it. Mission complete. Well done, trainee. I expect more of the same. The company's armed forces are, without question, the world's greatest military power. However, our superior strength could well prove our undoing if our enemy succeeded in turning assets against yes, us. Yes, yes, yes. We must deny them the opportunity. And if we fail, we must rectify the situation. This facility will enter power saving mode. Once you have retrieved your provisions, Proceed to the next location. A succulent chest. There wasn't a chest in the other place, was there? Thank you for your excellent work. My analysis is progressing smoothly, but I fear uh -huh. our... What? We're still not done yet? <laughs> Just a little more. Cool. Right, let's see what we got. I'm going to leave that there, because now it's four and a half hours. This is, this is, there's no way to stop this game once you start, because everything about me wants to now go to Chicken Lady. Continue this to see what the next Turk would be. Uh, talk about a and I want to go to the, 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 the airstrip, Cosmo. Oh, no, there's still so much to do in Golden Saucer. Do anything, right? Why do they need more than one? I want to go back to the Golden Saucer. Previously, each unit had a facility reserved for them alone. But as an energy saving measure, they can now only be used one at a time. Oh, right, right. Two bottles of high ether, is that it? High ether. Ethers are a thing in this game. All those boss fights where I was like, I'm fucked because I've run out of I've run out of mana. Ethers are a thing. My dudes, I've been ignoring the uh, arms like every fight. I don't think I've cast a single item in combat. I think I threw a grenade once. My brain just ignores it. It's cheating. But... I will leave that there. 
That was juicy, that was succulent. A ruddy good time. With me choke bros choke arms. Bye guys! Ah, My neck hurts. I'm gonna hop in the pool. Next stream, which maybe I'll do later, but if not, definitely tomorrow. We're gonna go back onto the story modes. Don't forget the main quest. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Take it easy. Anything before I bounce? Succulent humans? Chicken lady before finish, please. No. Casey, because you're a legend. Because you're a legend, and I, I, I can tell you've been really wanting it. I'll quickly chicken lady for you. Don't know why you want it. But now you've made me curious. Where was that old wench? Sure, she was over here. Now you're starting to make me think that there's a really big thing. My, my brain is trying to make theories right this second of who Chicken Lady is. Is it a Fauna? Did a Fauna not die? She just aged really fast. Like shit. Oh, that's Chicken Lady. My darlings, I'm so relieved you all made it back safe and sound. They appear most pleased to be reunited with you in this place they call home. Thank you. They can be a handful, and chasing them really works up the appetite. Quite a red. So allow me to whip you up some of Grandma Kazra's famous grilled chicken. Say good night, Pippoli. <gasps> Oh. oh, oh, God, oh, oh, for the love of Begum. I don't think I've ever met such nice young people. No way, the game over. Back any time, you hear? There's plenty more scrumptious <laughs> grilled chicken where that came from. They, they could have lived long and happy lives running free if I hadn't. Well, oh, oh okay, my god. <laughs> no, no, you did not. <laughs> you did not use the red owl. The red owl. The supposed to be super powerful red owl. You used it there. <laughs> For Pippily the chicken. Fish. And there we go. There's the reality of our meat. <laughs> I knew I was getting creepy vibes off Gran, but... Man, she took Pippily out. She was calling them her children and shit. Damn, you cold, Granny. Did your tummy just rumble? Stay for dinner. I'm always happy to treat my favourite helpers. <laughs> Such lovely weather today, truly <laughs> wonderful, and my darlings are looking quite plump, wouldn't you say? Oh my god. Alright, there we go, that's a good note to end it on. <laughs> yeah, the game over music. <laughs> Rest in peace, Pippoli. <laughs> Square Nicks are funny boys. They found their sense of humour again. Yeah, I like it. Alright guys, take it easy. Cheerio, throw her in the Mako. Oh my god. Could you imagine Genova picking up on this woman's soul in the live stream? Corrupting and twisting her? Oh my god, imagine if Genova's form used Kazra. Genova used Kazra's form as her main form. Be horrifying! <laughs> Bye, guys. Cheerio! Goodbye. Have a good afternoon, evening, morning. Whatever you are doing, wherever you are. Take it easy. I'll see you in the next live stream.